All righty, there we are. Let's see how long the lag is. Okay. I think last time mine was about 17 seconds. I know, right? Mine oh, mine's eight. only 10. Dang, mine is still going. Jeez Louise, and I'm right here. That's goofy. Anywho, Hi. hey ladies, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lori and Paula. And Paula. So Tammy, let me introduce you to Lori. Lori is Girl on the Ridge. So there's that. Um, I think I said hey to everybody. I know I missed some of you. So I'm just going to start from this point and say hey <laughs> as you type. So there's Paula and Lori and Sherilyn and Jody and Tammy. So there. <laughs> How's everybody's weather? Is it normal summer? Hot? Humid? Hot. Hot, hot. hot. It was gross here today. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Tammy, you cracked me up. You and the emojis, I swear. Hey, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. It's hot, yeah. Yeah, I know where you're at. I know it's hot there. Hey, Victoria. Oh, you had I'm rain. Enjoying. I would take some rain. Ninety-eight. Yeah, it was ninety here. Hi, Claire. Hey, Claire, how are you? 98 by Lori. Paula's not telling us because we know it's like, you know, Paula's 105. Standing. Yeah, she's standing on the sun. That's weird, Louise. Pearl's hot and humid. Oh, and the air is not working properly, of course, <laughs> right? Yep, been there, done that. Hi, Serenity. Hey, Serenity, how are you? There's Lorna. Hey, Lorna. Hi, Lorna. <laughs> and Pamela. Very nice. There you go. Oh, I should probably get in live chat, too, because I'll be doing some typing tonight. There we go. Becky got booted. Uh-oh. Hey, Becky. She's back though. Welcome <clears> back. <throat> it's so, so weird. I start reading and I forget to talk. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what we had the other day, Tammy. Was it yesterday? I'm saying the other day. It was just yesterday. It was so, so weird. Where we were standing, it was still really hot, sunny, but you could feel the air changing a little bit. But then, like, to the east of us, it was super, super dark, and you could tell that it was just rain. So then we kind of drove through a little bit of it coming home. And it was those humongous raindrops. Like, when they hit the windshield, they're instantly, like, that big. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Hi, Natalie. Weather's well, kind of interesting if you just watch it for a little bit. Okay, let's see here. So anybody got anything exciting going on? I kind of have no topics today. Like usually I come stumbling in and, you know, I'm all yakety, 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 yak. Today I feel like I don't have any topics. No exciting news. Except we went to the baby doctor yesterday and everything's good there. So now we're Yay. just you know, waiting. And the last few weeks are the hardest part. Waiting. Yeah, they are, right? Hey, Donna. Okay, Pearl. Hi, Donna. Oh, Louise, did you get a new car? Oh, she did. Yep. <laughs> nice. Hi, Hi Cheryl. Cheryl. Maggie and I are going to play the jinx game all night. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I hate brand new cars. I prefer a used one. She said new to us. Yes. Yep. yep. A brand new car is too stressful. Ugh, I don't like it. 
Well, and then you drive out of the parking lot and it immediately loses like what? 10 grand? <laughs> Something. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. So what's everybody been up to since what is today? Today is Thursday. So what's everybody yeah. been up to since Monday? Monday. Can you tell? Any Can you crafting, tell? any projects? She's going to put paper pulp in tea bags. So wet. Okay. I almost asked the dumbest question of the day. Paper pulp is wet. So of course it's wet. That will be cool. And she's going to emboss. Yeah. Very I want to see that. So if you put it in the embossing folder and run it through your th machine, isn't it going to like squirt water? Not squirt, but you know what I mean? Isn't it going to have water everywhere? Oh, Lisa, I'm jealous. I want to sleep. Hi, Lisa. I would be okay with sleeping for two days. Ooh, Cheryl Lynn, first time watching that, huh? Oh, binge watching Downton Abbey. Yeah, it's yeah. good, right? It is good. So, are you putting your... I'm, I got a lot of questions now, Lori. Are you putting your machine like in a cookie sheet or something so the water doesn't go everywhere are you just putting it on a towel what are you doing because i can just see me having a horrible mess but the little suction feet on mine never work anyway of course my current machine and i just <coughs> there's no love hate relationship it's just a hate hate relationship we don't get along at all Lorna binge watched Warrior Nun. What is that? A nun. Hey Jennifer, how are you? Hey Kathy. Hi Jennifer. Hi Kathy. Uh oh, your favorite person. I'm so confused. Oh, the binge watching. I'm down to that. Wow, I know. I was really disappointed about that too. Squeeze a lot of water on the screen first. Okay. Hey, could you do a tutorial? Uh, could you do a tutorial? Could you do a tutorial on it? Or provide us with maybe a link to someone who has already done one? That might be cool. I've never heard of that. That could be pretty interesting. Hey, Natalie, how are you? How are you doing, Natalie? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Being all, yeah, she's being all, well, we'll see how it goes first. <laughs> Be brave. Just say yes. Be brave. Hi, Angie. Hey, Angie. Oh, here comes Marty to say hi. Oh, my gosh. So silence, we have to listen to Marty. He's gonna say hello. Do you hear him? Hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. He's got the coolest cat voice, I swear. It's <laughs> weird. <laughs> He's a pretty cool cat. I <gasps> think he is. Oh, I have no idea what he is, Jean. He's a mix of, he's just a mix. He was a rescue cat. Uh, my daughter-in-law's mom rescued him. He was abused. And um, then they downsized and they have two dogs. So we took him here because we've got more room. Right, Tammy? He wants his shot at stardom for sure. <laughs> For sure. Hey Pam, how are you? Hi Pam. I don't even know if I should do that. Do you go by Pam or is it always Pamela? Because if it's always Pamela, we'll say Pamela. Yeah, some people don't like nicknames, you know, or shortening of their name. Yeah. Oh, Becky cut herself off. We can't have cats. I'm allergic, I bet. 
I bet it's Hi, Lurie Penny. too. She was waiting Hi. for multiple gas answers. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Angela. Hey, hey, Penny. Hey, Angela. Oh, she's not going to finish the sentence either. She's going to keep us in suspense. Uh, Cam is I just fine. She's okay. allergic. Oh, there she is. I'm allergic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, you say that. See, now I have a little bit of a story. Remember how I've told you guys the neighbors have like neighborhood chickens? <laughs> the neighborhoods just wander, well, the chickens just wander the neighborhood um, and kind of just lay eggs wherever they want. So it's like everybody gets free eggs different days of the week. Um, one got a little too close to Carmine yesterday. Uh-oh. Yeah, needless to say, the chicken is alive and well. The chicken is fine. She didn't really try to kill it or eat it. She just decided she really wanted to play aggressively with it. Play, yeah. She wasn't quite sure what to make of all those feathers, though. That was kind of funny. Hey, dear B, how are you? Hey. So, yep. I don't mind people calling Mr. An Mr. Ange. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, Marty's a hunter too. Yeah. I had a mouse and I he's gone. I don't know how he's gone, but he's gone. That's all I care about. <laughs> and Maggie lives right by a forest preserve, so Hi Jamie. It's all kinds of fun stuff out there. Oh yeah, it's like what, maybe a couple of yards out my uh, back door. Right. But I get I get um, little chipmunks and Marty will just lay right at the uh, French door and watch them because I throw peanuts out to them and he just sits there and watches them come and grab the peanuts and and then go back to wherever they're hiding them and and does he, he flip flop nuts. does he flip flop his tail around like he's just dying oh yeah oh my <laughs> gosh it's like it's gonna come right off. <laughs> Yeah, both of our dogs are rescues too. So I don't think you ever quite take that little bit of hunter for your food mentality out of them. Right. I'm not sure. But they're not they're not like super duper aggressive. They're just very territorial. So and I'm kind of okay with that part. So but anywho, um, if you guys are ready, <clears throat> I'm ready going to be a different kind of a start tonight. I'm going to switch the camera over to Maggie and Maggie's going to start us off. I'm going to be doing the typing. So we'll be going off my chat tonight um, while Maggie's on and then we'll come back to me and I'm going to go through um, hopefully the rest of Louise's goodies and there's a few books and then um, depending on how we are time wise and stuff we're going to grab um, some of Jean's books and work on those. See what we can work our way through. Okay. Sounds good. All righty. Let me see if I can switch it from over here, Maggie. Ooh, I almost okay. removed you. Ooh, that would have been bad news. <laughs> I think I could get back in though, right? There you are. Okay. There you are. Okay, I got a little bit of crinkling while I move these. And I'm going to have crinkling too because I put everything in bags. To keep yeah, it but your crinkle is cool crinkle. You got like paper crinkle. Um, this is going to be, an, I have three of these and then I have three other ones. So it's, I think we'll just do ABC. Okay. And these are the, um, I still don't, <laughs> I still don't think I have a name. You don't have a name for for well, they're they're laces and appliques in in the um, pockets, but just gla glassine bag pockets. I don't know. I don't know let what the girls name them. Show let's, right, let them name them. You guys up for that? How about if we let Maggie show us one, and then you guys can put your suggestions in, and we'll let Maggie pick her favorite or whatever catches her eye. How's that? Okay, and um, they're exactly alike except okay. for the um, you know the paper I used. But I'm gonna take these out. There's five 
yards of trims, and then there's uh, five appliques. And then I made these so they could be reused either like as a gift bag or some kind of a holder or even like an insert in a journal. Nice. So here's the front. And then I, ma I made it so you could actually like write in it. There's um, paper in between. So there's I the great them. one. I love them. And the crinkling of the paper is just like, yes, do it again. And I'll show you the, uh, okay. So each one has all the same laces and applique. So here's the first one. Look at all the flowers you can get if you want to cut that apart. Right. I, that's what I, that's what I did with this. I would, cut the larger flower and then the smaller flower, I'd put it on top. And then even these little ones, I would put in the middle and then put a little like rhinestone or something over it. Right. And make tons with um, with a whole yard of it. So there's that. And then here's a flower trim. Make sure I'm, I can Pretty. see. So there's a yard of that. There's a yard of this one. Look at that one. And this look you can cut up. I was just going to say, look at all the pieces you could get out of that. Right. They go. It go, basically goes from like here to here. So you can cut them or you can just use it, you know, as is. I like to find the trims that you can use for more than one purpose, you know. Right. Like a hundred different ways. Yep. So then there's this one. I like when you girls find it for us and I don't have to look. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this one here. And then there's five appliques. So let me just put those there. So there's a flowery dangle applique and it's got some sequins, some clear sequins in it. And I'm showing you upside down or wrong side. Oh, you got to love it when the back side of a sequin. Yeah. Is pretty. Holy Toledo. <laughs> there's that one. Then there's this, this is kind of funky, but I love this because I've cut like just individual pieces and put it in between. Right. Different uh, things. And then there's, this one, and this can be cut. And there's this one. Ooh, that's pretty. And then there's this one. Nice. So soft and girly. That's one. And then I'll just show you the covers and the inside of the other ones. Do you so want to let them name them first? Oh, sure. Are they naming them? Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna type it in. Name okay. that item. Who's playing? You'll have to read the chat, Meg, so you can pick oh, one. Oh, okay. Let me paper, octet journal, pocket, lace treasure book. Hi, Sandy. Quickly, goodness. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Lace treasure holders. Paper pocket journal. Lace lovelies. Hi, Roxanne. Okay, let's see. 
glassine treasures. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Barbara. Splendor of roses. You know what? Roses and laces. Well, I'll wait until I read the rest of them. Glassine goodness, treasure keepers. Hi, Deb. Pink rose. Okay, now it's, let me go up because I did see one. I kind of like glassine treasures that Kathy said, because they're, oh, that's pretty. pretty. And then it, the, the treasure part doesn't limit you to just like appliques and laces. Nice. Hello, Hi, Karen. Karen. Welcome. So you saw the pink one. And hey, then Barbara. Hi, Barbara. This is the um, the second one, and here's the cover. And oh, wait a minute, let me click this back on so I can. Okay, so here's the inside. Oh, I knew I was going to hit that. Okay, so that's B. This is C, and here's A. So here's this one. And here's the inside. And you can do journaling. And that's A. Nice. So A, B, C. And okay. these, these are um, 28 each. Choice A, B, whoop, B, C. You said 28? Yes. Okay, you guys ready? I'm going to type it in. So you're watching from my go with the yellow and then put in your me and I'm going to look for the first A, the first B, the first C. Okay. Hey, Shauna. Hi, Shauna. Okay. Um, so... The very first C I see is Linda Carruthers. Okay. Um, Claire Hammer would like A. And Michelle Rowe will take B. Thanks, ladies. You're awesome. And who will take B? Michelle Rowe, R-O-W-E. Okay. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you, Claire. So and thank you, Linda. Yep. For anybody who hasn't shopped with Maggie, if you guys could just take a minute and shoot her an email at her email address there on the screen. Um, if you could just give her your real name, if your YouTube name is different than your real name, if you can include that so that she, it's easier to, you know, keep everybody straight. And then um, do you need their whole shipping address, Maggie, or just their zip code? Um, I just need their, uh, actually, I just need their PayPal address because once I get into PayPal, their shipping address should be in there unless um, they send me their address because it's different. Okay. All right, let me put these out of the way. Hey, Melly. Those, Hi, are, Melly. those are Maggie's goodies. They're delicious. And now I have three more of the same, but some Yay. of the trims and appliques are different. Darn, I should have copied and pasted. <laughs> it's okay. It wasn't a big type. I can handle it. All right. One more second. Okay. So this will be A, B, and C again. Hey, Janine, how are you? Oh, and Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. And hi, Janine. I think she decided on glassing treasures, right? Yes. Okay, so all three of these will be the same. 
So I'll, I'll show one set and then, you know, and then I'll show the, um, the glass seam. All right. And here's the third one. It's okay, Linda. We understand. Okay, let me show the laces and the appliques first. Okay, so this is the same lace. That's so pretty. It almost looks like little cameos on the bottom. It does, and you could actually use it like that. And then here's an, the second lace. Oh Let's my see. gosh. And then here's the third lace. That one's pretty. How pretty would that be on the bottom of journal pages? Right? I've, I've used that before. And then here's the same flower trim. Nice. And then this one does have a, a rose, pinky rose. I don't know if it's going to come across, but... Maybe you can see it that way. It does look pink in StreamYard. Hang on a minute. Let me see. Because, you know, I'm the one with the goofy lag. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's well, still I'm keeping pink. mine in, in StreamYard because then I get kind of mixed up. Yep. Because of the lag. Okay. So those are the laces. And then here's one applique. This one here. And it's got sequins. Nice. And then... Here's another one. This can be cut up. Yeah, it can. And then this one, the last three are the same. It's, it's this way. It's this one with the pearl dangles. Then this one here. Nice. And then this one here, the funky little one. So, okay, maybe it'd be easier if I move these out of the way. That's what I should have done with the other three. Um, so this will be A. And then you open it up and it's got wildflower background. Then you can use this as um, if you want to write in it or you can put more pictures in it. And then you have the pockets there. So that's A. And then this is B. Look how pretty. They're so feminine. And then you open it up. I tried to use some different um, papers in there. And then here's that one. So that's B. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this is C. So there's that. And then there's this. And then this you can write on also. You're not enjoying making these or anything, are you? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you can kind of tell. <laughs> you know how you like really, you know, doing the making the book covers? Uh-huh. This is my favorite thing. Right? Isn't it fun when you find something like that you that you love to make? Yeah. Okay, you guys, you're ready. Here comes the go. So. Well, hey there, Craftaholic Andrews. How are you? Okay. So let's see here. Let me scroll that back up. Hey, Kim. Hi, Kim. Oh, and Carla Frizzell is here. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. Oh, my gosh. I get to show that journal to you-know-who pretty soon. Not yet, but pretty soon. <laughs> um, so Serenity is going to take any. So I'm going to give you the A and the B, and then I'll come back to Serenity. Okay. Well, that's not true. Serenity is going to wind up with B because she asked for any, and then Donna Ryan wanted A, and then Jennifer Jane wanted C, so that would put Serenity as B. Okay, the Donna, first three, yeah, the first three that came in. Donna Ryan A. Yep, Jennifer Jane for C. 
JJ. And then Christine. Serenity for B. Yep. And then Serenity. Thank you, ladies. Well done. Well done. And did we get, um, I missed saying hi to, uh, what's her name here? The um, Crafty Catholic Andrews. I or said hi to her, but I don't know what her first name is yet. Suzanne is here. Hey, Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. Okay. Now. Oh, look at Jennifer. You need you need to bring those back. Jennifer Jane wants to gift hers to Linda, please. To oh, Linda. Darn, I knew that. It's Beth. I knew that. Darn it. <laughs> oh, hi, Beth. Yep, it's Beth. Please give to Linda. Yep, she would like okay. to gift it to Linda, please. Gift to. Linda, Linda C, right? Yep. Okay, great. Thanks, JJ. That's that Jennifer. She's awfully big hearted. She is. Okay, now the next, I have four of these. And, <laughs> and there's Miss Subtle. Who's sending one to me? <laughs> <laughs> Guess who? <laughs> oh, okay. These are the, oh, all that crinkling that's going to drive everybody crazy. It does not drive anybody crazy. We kind of love it. Okay. These are, I, I made two different little kits and this one you could make I made it as a wall hanging kit, but you can really make a lot of different things with it. And I altered the bag so that they can be used again, again, as a, you know, to put a gift in or as, you know, to put in a journal. So here's the first one, <coughs> excuse me. So that's the first one. And then uh, they're all the same. It comes with two doilies. And it comes with. How many of these do you have, Maggie? I have four. Are I you doing, you're going to do all right. four at one time? Um, you want, well, how about if they're all, the kits themselves are the same, but how about if we do them one at a time? Okay. And that, the only thing I'll have to show them is the um, altering of the glassine bag sure. and the fabric images are different. They're all theories, but they're all different. So this one Perfect. is for this one. And then you have. So can I call them fairy kits? Sure. Okay. So you have um, this trim here. And th this is a half a yard. And then here's that um, pinkish rose color. You get a half a yard of that. Nice. Yeah, whoever gets it will be able to do more, you know, th with this kit. Right. Hey, and then here's a dangle. And then this little trim here. And this is stretchy. So I it would, would look cute going around the image if you wanted to. And then this piece here that has little I love that when you showed me that the other flowers. day I still love that trim and then here's another piece that can be used to dangle at the bottom okay so there's the main part of the let's just call it a wall hanging and then you get this is where all the extras come in that you can use it for way more than just that you get white and pink seam binding a yard of each Keep this separate so I can put it back in the bag. You get one of these. And that's mainly why I picked the fairy images because all the colors go with it. And then you get this pink bow. And you get this little rose bow. You get a butterfly. Hey, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. And then you get a snippet that I've made. Nice. 
and then you get some in case you wanted to hang it some pearl trim to hang and then you also get a couple of my little handmade flowers pretty pretty okay so that's the kit itself uh, oh nope then there's there's more oh wait there's more oh, wait there's more <laughs> <laughs> i forgot so you get eight inches of this multicolor cup chain put that up there you get an acrylic rose you get eight inches of a clear cup chain you know um rhinestones okay you get two of these tiny little bows those things just <laughs> <laughs> they're so tiny <laughs> and then you get three charms one is a fairy one's a feather one's the eiffel tower nice you'll get a piece of bling And I tried to coordinate the colors with um, whatever was in the image. Okay, you get three of those, a little ribbon, um, embroidered flowers. You get some green, yellow, and a pinkish lavender, the um, acrylic flowers with the little rhinestones. You get some flat back pearls. I'm not even going to be able to pick that up with my finger. And then you get a white and a pink clay rose. Nice. And now I think that's it. And now that might and now be that's it. <laughs> How much is, are these, Maggie? Um, these are 24. Okay. Hold on, ladies. I'm out of practice typing. Okay, and we're going to do each one separately, right? Yeah, just um, I'll just Can show you, you the differences. There's only a couple of differences in each, but I think it might be easier that way. Okay, so can you scoot the ones on the left off the screen and just show us yes. the for the one that there, there you go. That way they, there's no confusion. Perfect. Make sure I didn't lose anything there. Hey, Glennis. Hi, Glennis. Oops, that fell out. I'll put that back in there for now. She does such a good job on these, doesn't she, you guys? Hang on one second, ladies. I'm waiting for her to show you the cover so you know which Okay, one. yeah, here's the cover. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, in it goes. And if one wanted everybody to make sure they know which one. And that one is sold. It's going to go to Miss Glennis McCartney, please. It's going to who? Glennis McCartney. Oh, okay. Yep. And she emailed me, so it's a we. If in any of you ladies, if you don't mind, if you don't um, get an email sent to Maggie and I have your information, I'll just give it to her if you're okay with that. Um, we always like to ask first before we share people's information and emails and such. Here's the second one. Now, all that whole packet is the same. And the only difference, okay, this one has this little fairy. And then the only difference in here, I was thinking I wouldn't have to, but I do because the two there's the two flowers print print and then the my handmade snippet this one here oh how pretty look at all that layering and the bling piece let's see what the bling piece is in here okay and then this is the bling piece right there but everything else will be the same Nice. So okay. let me 
<laughs> I know the tiny birds. All I know, all the tiny things are amazing. <laughs> okay, you ready for me to put it in, or do you want me to wait a minute? Uh, yeah, you can put it in. I'm just going to put this back in okay. so I don't get them all. There we go. Up. And that one is sold. Okay, give me one second. You're fine. Oh, Glennis doesn't have sound. Gotcha. Thanks, Jamie. I'll type it for her in just a second. Okay. Um, this one's going to go to Cheryl Goble, please. And I think Cheryl's the one that just said that she um, sent you an email kind of farther up there. Thanks, Jamie. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And I'll get Glennis's information to you when you're ready. Okay. She doesn't have sound right now, so. Okay, so this is the next one. Let me get this out so I can find the image. You guys are really awesome. Thank you very much for watching out for each other and helping us like that. That's really awesome. You're there's welcome, Cheryl. Thank you. Look at how pretty that is. There's the image for that one. And then here's the altered bag. And then let me just put this up. Oh, this will get me ahead of the game here. <laughs> okay. And then in here, this is the um, snippet. And the yellow is to go, there was yellow in her dress. So that's why I picked this one. And then here's one of the handmade flowers. And here's another one. Using um, doilies. And then the bling piece for this one is this one here. So that's that one. Nice. You ready? I'm ready. Okie dokie. Here you go, ladies. And that one is sold. Okay. So I think, Joyce, have you shot before, honey? Um, I'm not sure if you have. Um, so you see where my name is coming in with the yellow? I'm going to type the item, and when Maggie's done um, showing it, then I'll put it in. And these are just me items. You just claim them by typing me. So as soon as you see me to have put um, in the item and the price and the go, you just want to be able to hit enter. So you want the stuff already typed in, and you just want to be hanging out ready to push the enter to, to do that. Okay, and then the first me that I see on my screen is Melly K for that one. Okay, thank you, Melly. And Joyce, if you have, and anybody that's new, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm really bad about forgetting everybody's not a veteran and doesn't know how we do things. So please, and the ladies in chat are super, super helpful and very friendly. So if I miss it, Louise or Paula will make sure that I do, or they'll answer it for you also. And the other ladies, like how Jamie was helping out with Glennis. So, yeah, everybody watches out for everybody really well. Okay, and then this is the last one. And she's riding a snail. And then here's the snippet piece that goes with this one. <laughs> what? Oh, just in chat. Lauren is like, well, some of us are nice. Some of us bite. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the blend piece here. And then here's the altar bag here. Probably works better if I just leave it there. 
So that's the last one of these. All right, ladies, here it comes. <laughs> All righty. That one is going to go to Jamie Parks. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Jamie, yours is tricky. Your your name, well, I have my screen friend kind of shrunk a little bit. So her me is coming in, like her name takes up the whole line, and then her me is the second. So I almost missed it. So Jamie, keep an eye on that for me. If you think I miss you at some point, let, holler at me and let me know. Or ask me to go back and look at it again or something. Okay, now this is the other kit. And this is, I just called it a doily embellishment kit. A doily pouch kit? Embe a doily embellishment kit. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, that you could also make a little mini wall hanging and you can hang it if you want. Now here's the altered bag. And then this comes with, this is already put together. I took two um doilies and i put batting in the middle so it has you know some structure to it cool. and then you get this little pearl trim in there that you could use if you wanted to hang it so there's your base and then you can put whatever you want you can put flowers you can put a little image but this one's going to have like dangles for the bottom so there's that dangle there, there's this dangle here, and there's this dangle here. I have one of this one, I do. I, get, I gave you one of these, so that this could actually go on top if you want like that, and can then you can just embellish it, or you can cut this out and put an image behind it if you want to. I think that is so cool. Can't you guys see this as like, a journal cover and then all the dangles like on different pages throughout. I just think it's amazing. Then you get this applique here. You get some of these little flowers because the area you're going to embellish isn't, isn't huge on that doily. Then this trim to make flowers with, you'll get three of those and then you get three of these. You can make individual flowers or what I've done too is you cut the flower out, you add them one on top if you want it dimensional and then you add a little um, embellishment in the middle or the flower center nice. and then you get this here this piece here so pretty and then here's the embellishment part of it so you get this little pearl trim and these <laughs> these I, I I did add um, something you can also put in the middle. These, I added different cameos. I had some cameos, so you can go like that if you want. Yes, There's please. a pearl dangle piece. And then in here, you get um, you get ribbon flowers. You get the a couple of these little um, tool flowers. You get basically the same you'll get some of the uh, rhinestone flowers well the rhinestone in the mil middle of the acrylic you'll get a small bling piece and then you get one of those roses that was in the other kit also nice so you can see just so i don't oh and you get um one of those little tiny rhinestone buttons too. hey maggie can you where you have your hand can you just hold the bag forward just a little bit there you go now you're in there there you go that's okay. like good. yeah i keep forgetting to look yeah I'm looking at what i'm showing yeah, you're good just so you get like this and there's a pearl center there's different acrylic flowers there you go perfect 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 okay and this one is these three will be 21 each. 21 are you doing them each one individually again um yeah only don't do you think it was easier yeah if whichever way you want to do it we, we've got all night i think it's i think it's just easier that way okay. and then all i'll have to show on the other two 
is the different cameo and the different bling piece and, and that's it. All the rest okay. will be the same. Okay, so if you ladies are ready, here we go. And you did say 21, right? I did. Perfect. Hey, Kristen. So this one is going to go to Melly K. Well done, Melly. Okay. Hey, Elizabeth. Thank you, Melly. Yeah, you only need like 12 of these. <laughs> I know. And I, I I will make more. I just didn't have yep. time. And I wasn't sure, you know, how yep. popular they might be. Yeah, they're very excited about them, all of them so far. Okay, you so you said Melly K. You could make more of the first ones too. They were they're loving them. And it kind of works out because you're enjoying making them. I do. I am. I really am. <clears throat> okay, so here's the next one. Here's the bag. Okay, this here's the cameo. And then here's the blink piece here. Can you see that? So pretty, yeah. I know there's a little bit of glare, but I figured it might be easier just doing it that way. That's the only thing that's different. I can't decide which cover I like best. All right. I guess some of them, it depends on what color you like, you know? Right. So there's that one. And that one is sold. It's going to go to Jennifer Jane, please. Okay. Thank you, JJ. Oh, and only about 10 names on this one. Too. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, somebody must be. He's fine. Don't worry. He's fine. Okay. And then here's the last hey, one. Hey, Carla Varel. How are you? I can make more of these, these kit, these three. I can make more of these. Um, awesome. So let's see. Okay, so here's the bag, the ultra bag. And then let's see if I can. Okay, the bling piece, of course, it's going to hide. All right, let me open it up because I want to show you. Here's the bling piece for that. And then there you go. Oh, the cameo must be in here. Let me find the cameo. Yeah, the cameo is in here. And here's the cameo for this one. Whoop. She's holding a, a dove on her wrist. I love that. With the to the monotone like that. All right, here goes this one. Oh my goodness. I can make more. <laughs> if anybody that didn't get one wants to shoot me an email, I can I can make more, but I won't bill until they're you know, till it's made and ready to ship out. Oh, nice. You guys can custom order a little bit. That would be cool. Very nice. Oh, uh, Lorna, that was sweet of you. Linda Carruthers is going to get that, and she's gifting it to Jennifer Jane, please. Okay. Thank you, Linda. Okay. If you guys want me to read the me, um, the... What am I trying to say? The, um, yep, the chat. I can read that to you. So if you want, if you want to know where you came in on that. Hey, okay. Sonia. Hi, Sonia. All right. So these here. Paula says order. <laughs> I don't know if you want the order that you guys came in. Is that what you want, Paula? Or do you want to order one? I'm not sure which way you're going there with the word. 
Hang on, hang tight one second, please, Mike. Okay. Wait and see what Paul is trying to tell us. Angie Stone wants to know if you have purples. Purple bags, you mean? Um, I think she means the, um, like how, I'm not even going to try to guess, actually. Angie, what do you mean by purples, honey? Do you mean images or laces or embellishments? Laces. She said laces. Uh, purple laces, I would have to look. So if they wanted a certain color, it would be mostly the image, right? Yeah, if they told me what color, you know, they wanted everything in, it, you know, it might end up being an accent color, but it would be in there type of thing. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay. She says, okay, thank you. Okay, now these are, okay, I have four total, but two are the same and the other two are going to be the same. Okay. And these are um, lace and flower bags. Okay. I'll call those lace and flower bags. So here's, we could just do A and B if you want, because the inside's going to be the same. Okay. So here's the first altered bag. And then you get, whoops, sorry. You get two, two trims that are um, a little over half a yard each. You get this trim here, this wide one. And that one you can cut, right, and get like double out of you it? You can if you want, yep. You can cut it down the, you know, the swirl down the middle. You can cut the flowers individually. And then you get this one here. Nice. And you can turn it either way. And you can cut these if you wanted, like, just a chevron piece mm -hmm. here. So That's really different. I like that. that way for that way. So those are the two trims that you get. And then you get these flowers. You'll get one of these, the pearl dangle. Just one of those. There's one of these. Pretty. The pearl in the middle. There's one of these. And this is pink. I don't know if you can see the pink coming through. This is also pink. Sorry for the look at my pen from earlier, a different pen. Hey, I had marker all over every one of my fingers the other night. You're doing good. <laughs> And then here's another little dangle piece here with some uh, pearls and rhinestone, um, pearls and sequins. And then you get one of these gold that's dimensional and it's a, like a dangle. What so a nice that's the these two. So there's, so there's this bag here and then there's, this is the other altered bag. But the inside, everything's the same inside. So if these you want to have a really nice variety in them, right? What's that? So these have a really nice variety. Well done. Thank you. Okay, you guys, here it goes. I'm gonna look for the first A and the first B. Oh, and did I say how much they were? Oh no. <laughs> they're 18 each. Oh well. I just I put in 24, so they're going to be so thrilled because I was just spacing it out. <laughs> so, yeah, I meant to say it, and then I don't know how oh, I did oh my it. Gosh. Yeah, no, they're really 18, ladies. <laughs> so the first one is going to go to Sherry. Okay, let me just get Well, this. hang on one second. Yeah. They're in. They didn't put in their A's and B's, but they put me's. It's Sherry and Kristen. So Sherry will take either. And Kristen already said B. So she will give Sherry A and we'll give Kristen B. Okay. And then it was Claire and then Shauna. 
and then my soul, and then Kristen, and then Kathy Behe. Okay, can you say A again? A is Sherry. Sherry. Okay, thank you, Sherry. And then B was? Kristen Z. Kristen Z. Thank you, Kristen. Sorry, yeah, but was gorgeous, right? Ah, so dainty looking. Okay, and the other two, there's this one. So if you guys are writing those down, make sure you write them down for 18. And then this is pink. Whoa. I knew my hand was going to catch that. And then here's the other one. And so inside here, some of the flowers will be the same. And then the two trims are different. You'll get a half a yard of this one. Or a little, I think it might even be a little over. I didn't want to cut off any flowers, so I just went to the to the next flower. So you nice. get that one. And then you get this wide one here. That can be cut in different ways too. I guess if I put that right back in there. Okay, and then the flowers in this one, some will be the same, some will be different. You get one of these, which was in the last one, and one of these, and the pearl dangle. So those three were in the last one. And then you get this one, this one, this one was in the last one, and this one was in the last one. And then for dangle, you get this one with the little flowers that pretty, so pretty. Okay. So this is, this one's B and then this one's the same. A is the same. Only the um, covers are different. Whoops. Cool. There you go. Perfect. So the, in, the contents are the same. The covers are what's different. Right. Okay. So Unique Wednesday, I'm not sure what the first name is. If you want to share it out with us, we could use that. Um, I'm gonna, you're gonna watch for me. My name will have the yellow um, highlight around it. I'm gonna type it in as the item and of choice of A or B. So you just need to let me know if you want. You just like, see how you can see Carla typing in me, B. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna put me and then a letter, A or B. And I'm gonna look for the first A and the first B. And those will be the two people that get these. Okay. So here we go. There we go. Those are sold. Okay. Everybody wanted B. Um, Claire Hammer is going to get B. Okay. And then Sherry will get A. And just so you guys know how the order went, it was Claire then Kathy Behe, then Carol, then Terry, then Lorna, then Shauna, then my soul, then Suzanne, then Glennis, then Carla, then Lisa. Okay, now the last thing I have before we get to um, the auctions are, I have, I just, somebody had asked me last week, if I had just the altered, you know, bags mm -hmm. and I said I would make some. And so I made some in the white and some in the, in the brown again. Now, if who, if whoever wants these um, and they want, I don't want to make it confusing, but if they end up wanting the trims, like in the, the first batch with, you know, the $28 ones with the trims and the appliques, mm -hmm. I can, I can do that for them. Um, if they tell me, but they'll be different. The trims, some of the appliques might be the same. A couple of the trims might be the same, but if I run out, then I would put two, you know, I would put the trims. So it would be like a Christmas surprise. Right. But I, they'd be equal to, you know, um, the other ones. Okay, so 
before you show these and before we get going, do you want them to just when if they want these and they want to upgrade to the $28 package, should they just put me the letter that they want? Are you going to do these individually or as a set? Oh, I was going to do like how many two at a time? Two, one, two, three. I have four. So yeah, I could do individually because that won't take long and they can okay. say as it either like as is or they could say um, add just if they just say add trims and i'll know it's the trims and the applicators okay, okay. So okay you got that? these are the double ones okay so you, would you what are we so we'll do, we'll do one and so if they just want the ultra bag there'll be 12 each if they okay. want the trims and the applicators it would be 28. okay so you do want me to what do you want me to call these altered bags yeah, you could just call them altered glassine bags and okay. then, we'll, you know, we'll remember. Gotcha. Okay. So the first one, these these four are going to be like the brown ones. They're going to have, here's the cover. And this is like a rose color. Um, I don't, see, I, I just can't tell on the screen if the colors are coming out or not pretty on on Streamyard they are and on youtube it's not too bad okay it's pretty close and then again i put papers journaling papers in the middle nice and then you've got the two um pouches whatever you want to call them so um that's the first one and how much are they so these are as is they're 12 and okay if they you know if they want to add the others it would be like the 28. Okay. so if you want it and you want it just as it is just type me as is if you want it upgraded just put in me add lace okay darn it lisa you came in right before me that one is sold to Jennifer Locks, L O U C K S. Okay. Jennifer, can you let us know if you want it as is or if you want to um, add the laces to it? As is. Okay. Good job. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, so that's the first one. Okay, here's the next one. And then in here, you could actually add a picture there. Oh, my goodness. Here's journaling. And then there's a different one from the... So you can add a picture in there, too, if you wanted. And then you've got your two pockets. Pretty. So there's that one. Um, Maggie, can you show the other two, just, just the cover so they can... Oh, the other, oh sure. Yeah, I should have... I That's should have okay. done that. So there's that one. And then here's this one. These are all like mother and daughter. The um, cover and then the inside relates to mothers and um, daughters. So there's that one. And then here's the last one. There's this one. Journaling, and then there's that there. Nice. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. So we'll do this one wow. next. I love that one. All right, ladies. Here it goes. And that one's going to go to Lisa Jamison, as is, please. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Hey, Amanda. Hang tight, Carla. I know it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> She's going to do them one at a time for you guys. I can make more of these, too. These are what I really enjoy making. So here's the next one. I think they would really enjoy it if you did make some more. I will. Hang on one second. It's going to take me just a second to, to type. Because, you know, I'm not. <laughs> All righty. Here it goes, you guys. 
Hi, Luz. And that one is sold to Melly Kay as is, please. Okay. Thank you, Melly. Okay, and then here's the last one. Okay, still typing. Hang on one sec. All right, I'm ready, and here it goes. Oop, that one is sold to Miss Shauna Henson, and she would like to add laces, please. Okay. Shauna H. Add trims and appliques. Thank you, Shauna. Lucy, um, I know you're the one that had specifically asked about, I know a couple of the ladies did, but I know you, you really did ask about these several times the other night. Um, if you want to email Maggie, she would be more than happy to put one together for you. So, oh, I will. Just tell me the theme, the color. If you like the, you know, the mother daughter, I can do. I have a lot of digitals that I can use. You just tell me in what colors, what colors, you know, you want. Oh, Lisa, that's a great idea. Pictures, please, when you're done. Lisa's going to try to use hers as a book cover add-on. I think that's oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping, you know, they'd want to put them in as like journal mm -hmm. inserts or. Yeah. Not okay. Good. So I'll show you all four of these and then we'll just do one of one at a time. Um, these are the white ones. So they're just the altered bag. These, if anybody's interested, would be uh, $8 each. You can use these as an insert, but there's no. You know, there's the first one. Can you say the price again, please? Eight. Oh my goodness. Are but you going to do these one at a time, or do you want to do two at a I'll time? I'll show you. All, I'll show. I'll, well, actually, we could do A, B, C, D if you want. Okay. Is there? Okay. I don't know okay. if four is going to show. How about if we just do? All two? right. How about if we do A and B? Okay. Okay. So there's the first two. Hey, Victoria. Hi, Victoria. And you're watching for me to type, Victoria. I know you just got here. So you're watching for me, not Maggie. Okay, so here we go. $8 a piece, and I'm going to put it in. Oh, that worked out well. First one is going to go to Lisa Jamison. Okay. And the second one to Melly Kay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, please. They would like more of these. Okay. Yeah, and you should come back and look at the chat tomorrow, Mags. Um, it's it's interesting the preferences. How which ones have more A's or B's? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the colorways. They're definitely attracted to certain colors. So. Now these have the same print, just different sizes. She's um, like embroidering, and there's a little, little collie. I think it's a collie down there, but I use different colors. Nice. All right, so this one is going in. All right, the first one is going to go to Joyce Gandy for A. Joyce? Uh huh. And Thank the you, second, Joyce. and I think Joyce is the one that said she emailed you already. Um, and Victoria K is going to get B, please. Okay. Thank you, Victoria. And if you, I, I, <laughs> okay, you guys, I don't do this very often, but it's just, it's, I'm just watching over here. I don't usually get to watch chat this much during a sale. Um, I, I want to purchase one and gift it to Carla. She has tried for almost every single thing you have put up up tonight and missed everything. So I would like to custom order one for Carla Varel, please. Okay. Which 
the white or the brown? She can, she'll let us know. Carla, just email Maggie and let her know what you're interested okay. in, honey. And you pick anything you want from tonight that she's done so far. Okay, not the auctions. <laughs> but any <laughs> any of the kits that she has showed up to this point, you pick out whichever you want and you, you order it with Mags and um, I'm going to gift that to you. Okay, now wait. I'll watch her email. It. Okay, go Say ahead. Say that? What? what? Say that again? Oh, no, I just said she has tried for every single thing oh. and, and just missed them. It's just killing me. Oh. <laughs> it's been on that side. It's just, it just sucks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. It's been a long that's time that's... since I've sat on this side, you guys. A really long time. I'm sorry, Maggie. <laughs> no, that's okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, carry on. <laughs> okay, so we have... Um... The, I think all that's left. Oh, I was going to say that if anybody wants um, the snippet bags for $10, I can do up to eight of them. You want me to type um, it in? And we'll just take if it you want to type it in or, or um, yeah, they can just email me. I can have a. We're just kind of going fast and loose, you guys, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, some of it's kind of on the, you know, on the slide, I guess. I know, right? So I'm going to do snippet bags pre-order, ten dollars each. Eight available. Okay, so I'm going to put that in. So I'll just pull the first eight me's. Anybody who's ever gotten one of the Maggie snippet bags always comes back for more. I so can, I can. What I can do real quick for anybody that hasn't seen them, let me. Oh, yes. now she's going to show you one. Hold on. Look at them. They're all going no. crazy. Me, 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 me. And I haven't even put it in yet. <laughs> I'll just show them like what, you know, kind of like what could could be in there. Okay. There's, you know, there could be pieces like this. Here's a half yep, a doily. Yep. Reload you guys. And I'm just... Yeah, and just for hey Lola, and just for timing, when she's done showing, when she holds up the last one and, and pulls them off the table, that's when I'm gonna hit the go. And I'm watching in YouTube, so it should be the same timing as you guys. Okay, so they're not gonna all be like as big as this, but when I'm done with the trim, whatever's left, I stick in my snippet box and then I make the bags. And so let me warn you guys, Maggie's idea of a snippet is so different than ours. <laughs> there's that, then there's this little one. And I just fill, um, I just fill, let me show you the size. I fill one of these bags here. Okay, so I, I, if you could just kind of pull that off the table when you're done, because yep. I told them that's what um, I was going to put yep. in the I basically just wanted to yep. give them an yep. example yep. of what could there be done. Oh, those are so sold, Maggie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so sold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Carla Burrell, she got in on one because she's up there typing me, me, me. <laughs> Good job, Carla. Good job. Okay, so Carla gets a snippet bag. Becky Swartzlander gets a snippet bag. Okay, wait a minute. Carla? Uh-huh. Carla V? Yep. Okay. Becky? Yep. Okay. Victoria K? Okay. Shauna Henson? Okay. Natalie Randall. Okay. Claire Hammer. Okay. Lisa Jamison. Okay. Elizabeth Hutto. Elizabeth. Okay. Is that eight? That's eight. Perfect. Thank you, ladies. And what I'll do is I won't anybody that has bought anything else tonight, I won't um, invoice you until I have the snippet bag ready. The snippet bags um, to get them all together would take probably a couple of days, but I'll wait so that they can go out in your, in your bag with the rest of your things. Nice. 
Okay, now to the auction. Ooh, okay, I have two, guys. two women bundles. Do you want to do a two and a half minute clock, Maggie? Is that what you've been doing in the past? Um, well, I think I was doing a three and then, okay. but if you want to do a two and a half, a 30, you know, 30 seconds might not be that much more. Well, I'll do it to three and then we'll just add, well, I'll just keep it the way we've been doing it. That's why I couldn't remember. Um, we'll just do a three minute and then if they're out, then we'll just ask them to type out. And if we don't need the whole three minutes, then we'll just call it sooner. Okay. Okay. So, all right, let's start with, we have this piece here. I'm not going to get it all in. But the, I believe there's a yard of this or close to it. So, so there's this here. Yeah. <laughs> So pretty. Okay, so you get that, put that right there. And then there's this piece here. And there's pro probably like a half a yard of this. I'll put it this way. And you get this on the bottom. Nice. It just makes a nice background. Yeah. So can I ask them what I asked you earlier? You ladies that do like the pretty design on the coffee and tea dyed paper, can you use these laces for that? That's all I want to know. <laughs> They're all dying. They're like, oh my. <laughs> There's this piece here. So pretty. Then there's this piece. This is... This is actually knitted. Knitted? It would make a cute little pocket or yeah, it would. fabric page. And then or a needle book. This is like over a half a yard. And this, I'm not going to get it all in. It starts up here. Oh, my gosh. And then it goes down here. And I had another one of these. And... I cut out like these. I cut out the bottoms here to use. Uh -huh. I cut out the top. So I some of these I separated. I cut out these little pieces because they work well, you know, in embellishments. Right. So there's that piece there. And there's no stains or anything on them. That a girl, Lorna. <laughs> And then there's this piece, and this has this here. Look at that. Nice. And then there's, no, it was the other side. Then there's this one. They're all giving each other such a hard time in the chat. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this Hey, one. Bunny. Hi, Bunny. There's that one there. Oh, my gosh. Look at that one. There's I love the tone-on-tone on tone ones. And I always forget what these are called, but there's, I mean, they're chair backs or whatever, but what the um, stitching in that is called. Oh, right. I always forget, but there's this one. And there's this piece here. I can't get top to bottom in there. But, oh, look at that. How different is that? Nice. Your camera almost doesn't like that one. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm just thinking about it. One. Oh, 
so pretty. And then the last. Do you think that one is hand done, Maggie? I, I was just going to say, I think this is hand done and it kind of got a little, you'd have to like kind of restretch it. Yep. We um, it. After it had been washed. But yeah, you can see. So pretty. Someone yeah. That's took awesome. a while to make that. And then this is the last piece here. Net lace. Oh, maybe bunny. That there. So that's the bundle. All righty. Oops, here we go. My clock went to sleep. All right. And it goes and the timer is on. And I think my volume is on. So you guys should hear the timer when it goes. So... Oh, I should get ready to type in 30 seconds too, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'll get it together here in a minute, you guys. Look at you guys go. Good job, you guys. <laughs> um unique whimsy did you i don't remember if you typed your first name in for us or not um if you could then we could refer to you by that if you'd like um and there's our answer around here whenever somebody says what did i miss we always say everything you missed everything because <laughs> we like to you know give people a hard time Carly. Carly. Perfect. 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 Thank you. I won't remember, by the way. <laughs> when you I come back, I'm going to put it on my cheat sheet. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. When you come back, I'll have to ask again because I'm horrible with names. The girls will remember, but I won't. Ooh, the timer just turned red. Yeah, they're a pretty good group, Carly. Pretty nice group of ladies. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Jamie sneaks in there at the very end. Holy cow. Let me scroll up, make sure I didn't miss anybody, but I think that's going to be Jamie. Okay. Yep. -er. So from my 30 seconds, I had Jamie at 57. I had Victoria at 58. I had Lorna saying she's out and Jamie at 60 and then my sold and then Shauna at 61. It was a beautiful lot, right, Claire? Well done. Well done, Jamie. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Yeah, Maggie's, Maggie's auction lots are kind of like her snip, snippet bags. They're always amazing. Oh, thanks. Ooh, and look at this little pretty sneak peek over here. Okay, here's the, here's the other one. So we'll start off with this little piece here. Move these over a little bit. So there's this piece.
Then there's this collar here, and it's got a little um, pearl closure there. Nice. And then I have two tatted doilies, and they're the same. There's tatting in the middle, and then there's tatting around here. And then there's regular um, crochet in between. So there's two of those. Nice. That's the one you said, oh wait, I'm on YouTube. That's the one you said there's tatting in between, right? Yes. And then these are hand stitched. There's this one. And there's just a little, these three pieces here, there's a little bit of discoloration, but I think it would come out well, you can see it more maybe it's on the back um it would come out with if you just hand wash it with some probably some oxy clean nice. there's two of these and these were handmade also this one and this one this one's oh. just a little bit bigger than the other one I always wonder what the, that shape, what those were for. If those went on the arms of a chair, I'm always like, what were these for? I know. I'm not, I'm not sure either. But yeah, it would make sense, the arm of the chair, I think. Like a fancy chair, not like the guy's after work chair. And then there's this. They can be cut separately. They're swans. I thought I'd put that in there. And then there's this piece. And this is a... It's not very big, but it's heavy. And this you can cut, you know, two or three different ways. Uh-huh. Also. And then here's another piece. <clears throat> Here. Ready. Okay. And this, this is... almost a yard let me make sure i have the right side okay this here and it's cream color and there's absolutely nothing no nothing wrong this here it's a, just a very wide you have this at the top that you can cut you've got all the flowers you could cut them if you wanted to and then down the bottom you have these flowers and then you have this little dangle here and there's almost a yard of this nice and that's heavy that was heavy it looked heavy and then this one is a yard it's at least a yard this is another wide one yes this one this again, you could cut these out. You could cut this piece out with the dangles down the bottom. Um, you you guys. Cut that out. So there's a there's a, at least a yard of this, if not a little more. And then there's this piece here, and this is a runner. This is this is doubled, so let me just kind of open it up so you can see what's in the middle. I'm pretty sure I've never seen one like this before. This is just awesome. And then you have, I think that's pulled thread there, but I'm not positive. It looks like and it. And it's at the top and the bottom. Yep. And this is white. So pretty. Hey, Beth. Hi, Beth. So, so pretty. So we have that. And then the last piece is this piece here. And this, I'm sure it was taken off of an article of clothing. And it's got the pearls, the sequins. 
I wouldn't mind. Yeah, um, yoga beads, part. rhinestones. So there's that. Pretty, pretty. So that's that bundle. All righty, here we go, you guys. And the clock is started. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see the rest of the dress that goes with that. Do you think that was a sleeve, like the cuff, maybe like um, collar? I'm not sure. This is this is the top of it, and it, it's got this netting. I bet it was. Wouldn't that be cool? I'd love to see the rest of it. But that's, I know. Or, you know, depending on the era it's from, it could have just been a like a secondary layer, you know, like a that right on a sleeve. I was thinking that would make a nice, if you were into like making purses, this would be a nice yeah, front cover would. for a purse. Yeah, it would. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Well, if only she had two. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's just saying. Oh, my gosh. Where they take us in this chat some days, I tell you. If you could get right on that and take care of that for Jennifer, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So since she's eating, she clearly can't type either, silly girl. <laughs> I wonder what she's having. She always has such really yummy dinners. Mm-hmm. It's so weird. I'm watching my clock my timer and I can just see the chat just moving. I'm like, what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, takeout night. Onion rings and burger. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh my gosh, you guys did really good. Let me double check and make sure. Okay, so, so from my 30 seconds, we have Serenity at 60, then we have Jamie, then we have Jennifer, then we have Victoria at 63, Serenity at 65, Jamie at 66, Serenity at 68, and Dare B at 70. Well done, Dare B. Oh, thank you, Dare B. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so that takes care of that. The only thing I have left, if they're interested, is I made a foundation journal. And I'll show it to, just to see if there's any interest. And they can they can um, let us know if there's any interest for it. Okay. Okay, so I used one of Patty's um, fabric covers. And that's the cover here. And it's based on Lady of the Lake. It was a poem by Sir Walter Scott. And I did some embellishing. I added this trim here. Great. And I added this trim around. And then inside, there's um, Lady of the Lake again. And then I added some more trim. 
And then what I did was I added pictures that were, that were um, with the poem. Nice. So I, this here is just a, a flip out that you can use. And then there's copy dyed paper and there's um, ledger, there's a few pieces of ledger paper. They're from Patty. And then the um, eco dyed paper in the background of some of them are Lorna's. And I used some trims on a couple of the pages. Um, I mainly only just decorated the, um, the picture pages. And then I had plenty of pages like for journaling. Here's some of the piano roll. There's more co copy dyed paper. And it's like, here's some, um, I forget that. It's really thin. So here's Nine. another Here's another image of Lady of the Lake. Here's another one. More copy dyed paper. Here's a little glassine bag. Here's another one of Lorna's. Here's another journaling page, or you could use it to put your own pictures in. So the reason why I called it foundation is I didn't do any pockets or tags or anything like that. I just mainly um, did the pages for the poem. Nice. And then here's more. You made here's some awesome paper choices. I like this a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. This is um, one of Louise's digis, the, the um, music. Ah, cool. Here's another one. And it's like, it's one large signature. Cool. And then there's another page. There's this one. Here's the rest of that piano roll. Here's another journaling page. It's another photo. Ledger. This one here. This is actually, I forgot I had put this in here. This is actually a pocket. And I had made a couple of little, they're not really tags, they're just inserts. And then here, and then here's the last page here. Well done, Maggie. Well done. Thank you. I added some lace. So if you want to see if they're interested, if anybody is, before we, you know, do an auction on it. Lady of the Lake. Lady of the Lake. It's a poem by Sir Walter Scott. And the illustrations are from Howard Christie. And these digitals are Mrs. Cog's digitals. Thank you, Louise. Um, yeah, they're interested. They're trying to claim it already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Oh, my goodness. Do you want to do you want to flat price it? Did you want to auction it? How do you want to do it? Um, yep, that's me. Your let, let, let's do an auction and then I let them decide, you know, how much okay. they want to spend All on right. it. All right. So I'm going to retype Lady of the Lake Journal. What do you want to start it at? Starting bid. Um, why don't we just start it at 10? At 10, okay. And go. There you go. Oh, I should start the clock. And I started the clock. Hey, Tammy, did I say hi to you yet? I feel like I did not. Hi, and Tammy. Lori. Yep. And Lori. Lynn. I don't know why this part always makes me nervous, putting 
you know, it's one thing to alter a bag and put it out there, but to, I to know, make right? a journal from, you know. I get it. I get it totally. I have so much admiration for people that can create things and put it out there with complete confidence. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think it's nerve wracking. <clears throat> Louise says she gets it. She understands. She does. You guys are going to be. <laughs> what? They're going to feel so punished. If I ever start singing out loud, they're going to be like, oh, my gosh, what is that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right, Lorna? I Yeah, I get it. Totally do. When you're doing that, I'm just putting some of these back in the plastic bags because I get nervous. I'm going to mix one of them up, you know? Yep. Yeah, because I get super irritated with myself when I have to come back to the video to figure out what I messed up. And I've had to do that. Uh-huh. I, I know I had to do it the first time I sold. I think I've been pretty good since then, but that first time, boy, did I get flustered. Oh, I bet, Becky. Yeah, I've never made jewelry, so I have yeah, that. Ugh, no. Here's a reason why I do what I do and let others do what they do. <laughs> All righty. Let's see here. So from my 30 seconds, we have Shauna at 37. We have Luz at 40 and Sonia at 38 and then my sold. So that's going to go to Luz for 40. Okay. Thank you, Luz. Well done, ma'am. Well done. Okay. And that's it. All right. You want to put a couple things on your desk and I could use a quick. Yes. That'd be great. Okay. Let me something that's not. So, um, Becky, I'm going to make you blue real quick for a few minutes. Oops. If you don't roll off my screen, um, if you could pop your link in here, that would be awesome. Um, and then Paula or Louise, if one of you can grab it so that we can have it later. Yes, ma'am, Linda, you're right. It's a Westward Ho moment. So, yeah, give us just a couple minutes and we'll both be back, okay? If you have okay. anything going on in your shops, now's the time for shameless self-promotion. On your YouTube, in your shops, whatever you got going on, let everybody know so we can all come enjoy it.
I beat her back. Oh, I can't wait to see those, Lori. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Lola. I'm just scrolling up to read. Okay. Okay. Um, before we, could I just do, um, can we do a quick giveaway? Sure, absolutely. Okay, great. Good. Beth found a shorthand book from 1903. She's excited nice. to get it to you. Nice. Well done. I don't think I've seen one that old. That should be cool. Whoops. Oh my goodness! What are you doing over there? Who me? Yeah. Oh, I was. Oh, these? Yeah. Oh well, I was playing around. This one <laughs> here was. I was playing around with um some of Lori's ideas, but just just like little little uh, like a mini, you know, mini book. I did a little stamping. Some stamping pages to write in, you know, that t notes, that type of thing. Uh -huh. um, I had some extra of that Jane's memoirs that there. Oh, wait. Nice. And um, let's see. And then this one here. This is another Jane's memoir. So let's, um, do you want to do a number thing? And I'll, I'm going to give one sure, to sure. Two different people is this one and this one so you're going to do two people i'll do two okay do you want to put write the number down on a piece of paper and set it wherever you want to put it oh okay so they can't see it and then you can type it in the chat from well we'll just let every, you just want to do everybody one number and we'll go one through one. whatever one number and the two closest the two closest right without going over perfect without right without going over Yep. Yeah, Jennifer, go ahead and put your link in now, honey, while you're blue, and then I'll just um, remove the blue. Yep. No big deal. Okay. And so it doesn't there, always remove it today, but it'll come off before next time, so no biggie. There's the number under there. Okay. And then oh. you want to do, let's see, we have 47 here, so we can do like 1 through 75. Okay. Yep. That's good. Okay. Pick, There's pick the number. Number. In our chat. One through 75. Okay. And everybody pick one number, okay? So here we go. And I'll add a few goodies to them, too. Yep, one number per person. Hey, David. Hi, David.
And since she's doing two, if two people have the same number, we're not going to stress out about it because it might be the winning number. Okay. We'll just go with who we see with the number first, and then we'll look to see who has it second. And you guys are always really good about helping with that, too. So I'm not going to worry. Okay, everybody in? There's Bunny. I'll give it just another minute or two. Well, a couple more seconds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was going to say a minute or two. Well, maybe not quite that long. There's Dodie. Hey, Dodie. Hi, Dodie. And Jody. Hey, Jody. And Trina's here too. Hey, Trina. Hi, Trina. All right. Does it look like we have everybody? think maybe so. So I'll put the stop in and we'll see how that goes. Alrighty. So if you want to tell us what the number was, Miss Maggie. Okay. Here it is right here. Somebody had it on the nose, I think, and the second person had one under, underneath yeah. it. It's 56. Alrighty. Let's go see who it was. Ooh, I see Cheryl. Is that who you saw with her? Cheryl has 56. Yeah. Right. Yep. And then. I see a 53. 57 is over. Then Becky oh, there's a 55. has 55. Okay. Well done. So, yeah, those are your two winners. So, okay. So, Cheryl. Yep. It was Cheryl, right? Not, yep. Right. Cheryl okay. Goble. Cheryl and Becky and I'll put some goodies in with with these nice. thank you ladies thank you everyone for all your um participation and patience and oh my goodness all the patience in the world for all that loveliness <laughs> Look at you guys. She does a good job, right, you guys? Oh, thanks, everyone. <laughs> All right, do you want to put on you? Then I can move my camera. Okay. And bring my laptop close so then I can start typing. Okie dokie. Oh, thanks, Lori. Thanks, Jean. Thank you, everyone. Okay, let me get this camera out of the way. All righty, Miss Louise, you're up. Nice. You're gonna, yeah, it's going to be a little bit. Louise doesn't know it yet, you guys. I'm putting her a little bit on the spot. Um, so, Louise, do you want me to do these two first? These are the same, I believe. Um. And she wanted to auction these, or do you want me to do this one first? Yep, again, on the spot. I'm trying to talk her into coming on with me, you guys, when I'm doing her stuff. Don't <clears throat> come on with me. She you. should come on. I with think us. so too. She could type for me. Maggie could type. We could all three be here. However, it works out, it would be fun, right? She could describe her stuff. I can show it. It would be amazing. Yeah, the mystery bag. This one isn't going to stay a mystery for you guys, though. I know I have to show it to you. And this one, I haven't, I haven't, I've peeked like that. That's, wait, that's how much I've seen of what's in there. I haven't even pulled it all out and looked. I'm going to look at it with you guys. Nice. Oh, you're welcome, Becky. Thank you. Start with the white envelope. Okay. Okay. And it's going to be an auction? Yes. Right, Louise? You, you uh -huh. wanted to auction this one, yeah? All oh, the tags and tickets. She does amazing on these, on those kits. Those two that were down here, you guys are going to love them. 
We've done a couple similar, but wait till you see these two. They're outstanding. Okay, so. And I don't know what she, I don't know what she put in here, but it smells amazing. She says auction, yes, please, starting at a dollar. Okay, so I'm pulling it out so that you guys can see. Wait, which, there we go. Okay, so we'll see it together. This is exactly how it came. So there's this pretty Reader's Digest cover. Still nicely intact. There. Okay, then let's see here. We have, oh, look at these. Am I upside down? I might be upside down. You have, oh, look at fabric. These are nice. Did you find them this way, Louise, or did you cut them? Love the shape. I know. They're nice cotton, too. Like a quilter's cotton. Super nice. Somebody counting? Because <laughs> I wasn't. Okay, so there's all of those. Ooh, I think I see a purple theme going on here. Oh, look at this. Oh, pretty. Let's see, what can I find that is? There we go. And there's I would say a couple of yards of this. Easy. And it's, let me measure and I'll get the width for you. It is four inches wide. So four inches wide by at least two yards. Hang on, one of these is not cooperating. There we go. she typing over there? Who, me? No, Louise. Oh, Louise. I was going to say. <laughs> nice. Yeah, feel free to type in there anything they need to know, Louise, that I forget to say or don't say or don't catch. Okay? Okay, so there's that. Then in this bag, we have... Ooh, that's a pretty purple. This is like a dark eggplant purple. Oh, does that have like the wire in it so you can yep. shape it however you want? Yep, sure does. Hi, Mila. Hey, Mila. So there's at least a yard of this. Then we have, ooh, fibers. You guys in your fibers. So then there's a cord. Cordings. We have lace trims. We have your eyelash. Yeah, this is definitely for a purple girl. A different mm -hmm. eyelash. I think they're both eyelash trims, right? Just totally different. I think so. Yeah, this one's like a lavender, and then this one is variegated. You get different shades in this one. Hi, Rhonda. Oops, and there's more of that. So you get quite a bit of that multi-variegated one. Mm -hmm. So there's those. Then there's the white eyelash. Lots of that. Then you get a rickrack. So there's your rickrack. Oh, and then a white and gold, like a baker's twine, like a heavy baker's twine. Then a flat lavender lace. Ooh, and twill tape. I love twill tape. Twill tape, and there's a yard of that. At least nice. there might be more. <clears throat> then we have more of the white eyelash and the lavender eyelash. Those are fun. Aren't they? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> then here's a nice purple 
satin ribbon. She missed everything. Yeah. Here's <laughs> a like a lilac satin trim. Okay. So she went so far with the lavender and purple theme, you guys. The tape is lavender, the washi tape. Talk about the details, I tell you. And the pressure is on because now I got to get this stuff wrapped back up in here. Okay. Yahoo, I did it and didn't tear the, the pattern tissue. Okay, let me put this bag with those so I know that that goes with those. Oh my goodness. Wow. So here's Queen Envelope with embellishments. So here's, so these are a chipboard. These are chipboard embellishments. Oh my gosh, that's a typewriter. Yep. And there's some metal embellishments. Okay, there's those. Oh, and a little baggie of buttons. Look at all these buttons. Okay, so I'm going to put those back in. Then there is a glassy bag that none of us like, right? Oh, little flowers, flat paper flowers to build up and make your own. There's, I bet there's a dozen of them in there. That's nice. And this, this one's a little crochet one. Oh, pretty. And then in this one, ooh, here's your bling. Wait, wait awesome. there we go. Okay, so there's all your blings. It is a fun kit, Jennifer. Okay, here's that one. Then let's see, I like the envelopes. This one has, oh, this one has paper tabs so that you, um, you know, that punch that we're all lusting after for those of us. Oh, yeah. To Everybody says that so hard to find that punch. And then some more punch um, paper flowers and, oh, the other tabs, the rectangular ones. Okay. So there's that one. Oh, where do I go next? Louise, you're killing me with this. <laughs> killing me. Okay, so we have more cordings or baker's twines. There's doilies. You get two of these. Another, um, we'll call that one an applique. Those are so pretty. Then there's this one. <clears throat> this is a lace. Get a nice length of that. Here's the design on that one. Then you get a tag that's full of trims. I feel like my lighting is totally washing these out. <coughs> that one. Then another tag. Oh, this is all purple. Oh my gosh. You fiber girls. This feels like that incredibly soft minky fabric that you just can't quit touching that's how soft this stuff is so there's that one then you get a whole card 
have ribbons, greens, purples, whites. This is actually a dark green. It's not black. And rickrack, and then super tiny rickrack over here on the end. Wow. More twill tape, more of the purple, more of the eggplant. Wow, you're for sure not going to run out of goodies mm -hmm. on this one. Hmm. One moment. This is like trying to get a diaper on a wiggly baby. Beth loves this kid. Right? Okay. There's that one. Then there is this one. So you have this really pretty <clears throat> lilac eyelet. Oh, that's really pretty. More of the daisy, um, like chiffon tool. And then all these, wait, I'm going to do it this way. Looks like she has made a bunch of tags for you. This one has flowers. This is a card. And everything is still in the purple. Oh, here's like a ready made pocket and or tuck. So is this one? Wow, she thought of everything, didn't she? Yeah, this is like <clears throat> sure did. Oh, and then pretty florals. bingo card, an altered bingo card, another bingo card. Oh, these are giant playing cards. How cool are these? So you Ooh, can write on this. You put like uh, a tissue over those and then sewing machine stitched them on and I'm upside down. There we go. But it's nice because you can still see the card behind it. Uh-huh. Wow, those are really pretty. Louise, you did an amazing job. Okay, there's that one. Let's get this roll back up. There we go. I wonder if I have a, I don't. I don't. Oh, wait, yes, I do. One moment. There we go. Okay. Oh, this is like that catch register paper. So you get a nice little roll of that. And then in this bag, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. So you get a signature of this paper. I don't know. Sure. <coughs> That's the spirit of friendship. So there you go. A signature of that. Really nice paper. Here's a courtesy card from... You don't know where. Oh, from the Canada Post. Oh, that's really cool. Ha! <laughs> I like that. Here's a glassine. Here's a glassine envelope. Oh, these are interesting. These are like glass. These are tubes, you guys. They open down here on the end. 
Oh, wow. I've never seen anything like that. Neither. There's three of those. Here's a embossed bingo card. Here's, oh, this is really nice. This is an embossed bag. So when you open it up, you can make it into a bag or you could use this as a pocket. There you go. There's the embossing. She said they're negative sleeves. Oh, nice. Here's index cards and some altered um, paper clips. Here's some tags. Oh, this is a wine label. So it's a peel and stick wine label. Oh, that's cool. Some nice journaling cards. Coin wrappers. Playing cards. Well, these are games <laughs> from, I'm not sure what game. These are cards from a game, I'm guessing. I don't know what game they're from, but they're pretty cool. Playing cards. Oh, he's funny. The Royal, Royal Fluster. Fluster. Flash cards. Flash cards. She says religious cards. Those are the ones. Old Maid. And <clears> then <throat> white and purple. Well, lavender. We'll call them lavender. White and lavender. Relidex cards. And then some uh hole reinforcers oh my there goodness Louise. let me see if i can get that put back in here okay so i don't remember how was this this way we're gonna make it work you can do it we'll see okay i'm going like this we're gonna say that's how that was And my fan is grabbing the tissue <laughs> <laughs> and trying to blow it away. All right. So this folded in, this folded in, this folded up, in, in, and, and up. Wow. Oh, I forgot. I think these were those. I think those were in that there. That was separate. That was separate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So there's that. Then look, there's this whole packet. Oh my gosh. She With said the purple washer. Complete journal kit. I think you could make a couple journals out of it. I was, I know. I was just going to say. All right, so this one I'm going to set off to the side and I'm going to build it in front of you right here like she has it so I can get have a hope of getting it back in the... Okay, so you have this paper, this paper. God, this smells good. Oh, this is a lavender. What did you put in this, Louise? Or is it a secret? Ooh, this is like embossed. Can you guys see that? Oh, that's pretty. It's like a lilac -y color. More lavender. Ooh, this she she's. I know it's not going to come across, but it's like a very lilac kind of color instead of coffee or tea stain. She did it with the the lilac. This one. All these papers she dyed. All of them. So they're all going to be slightly different, and you're not going to. There's just different tones in all of it. Ooh, this one. Oh, that's where that design is coming from. It's coming from her pan. That's cool. I like that. There's this one. Oh, she said Kool-Aid died. Nice. That one. That's why it smells so good. Is that it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> this one look how they're getting lighter you guys see that 
Ooh, that's pretty. Even I could write in a straight line with that one. Ooh, that's pretty. And another one. Then we have, ooh, a full signature of music. Oh, from Etude. Nice. couple pages of nice bright paper. Oh, that's like letters from kids. Oh, nice. So there's that. And let's see here. This looks like a couple signatures from a book. Ooh, there's Jonathan. Jonathan Swift even. So there's those. I think you get a full signature of that is what it looks like. Here's a page of, I don't know, exercising your judgment. And Oliver Goldsmith from the deserted village. There's that one. Here's some, let's see here, dictionary pages. You get a full leaf of the dictionary. Really nice paper, that. <clears throat> this one, she's full. Oh, she even gave you an idea how to fold it up and get it in your journal. Nice. Very nice. Oh, and a full leaf of florals. Pretty. Here's another one. And another one. Louise is saying, just book pages, Patty. Okay. <laughs> Those are really pretty. The colors. They're pretty, mm -hmm. right? They need to see them, I think. Map pages. I like the size of this. This is, this is where it was sewn in the book, so nice size. <clears throat> book pages. The better book pages, floral book pages. Oh, quotes. Ooh, this is vellum, alphabet vellum paper. Oh, that's cool. Floral vellum. Lilac grid paper. More lilac, ledger mm -hmm. paper. Ooh, this is nice. What kind of paper is this? This almost has a handmade feel to it. Is that handmade paper, Louise? It's pretty. Here's another one that feels handmade. More music. Another music. Banana paper from Cuba. Nice. <clears throat> so there's like four sheets of this. And this is lined. This is nice. Ooh, this is fun. Look at the color and the texture in that. Oh. Oh, I like that. Here's a green. And another green. And some lavenders, lilacs, stripes. Yep, stripes. And then a floral. Ooh, and then some... Thinner pieces for edgings. Those are nice. This is like a journal kit tutorial in a bag. Purples and greens. Some solid strips. More dots. More of that interesting green. Ooh, this is a totally different one. more smaller pieces while well, she's going to force you guys to be creative. 
more lavenders, more lavenders and purples. There's another one. Ah, oh, here's a bunch of tissues. These are all like tissue. They're not tissue, but what what is this called, Louise? Because you know how when you turn the camera on, you lose all your words. See how transparent that is? Did anybody count all these pieces? She said tissue or tracing paper. Okay. I'll, I think it feels like tracing paper. Yeah. It might be tissue too. I don't know. I don't know. You put it in there. I'm taking your word for it. Look at there. There's the lines. These are nice. I like these. Yeah. And she, and she dyed all of these. These are like a five by seven ish size. And there's more. Oh, look at, she even cut one up for you. It's like, it's awesome. She did, she provided you the stuff and then she even showed you like samples of what to do with them. Genius. Genius. To make little pamphlets, little journaling cards. Perfect. Here's a few envelopes. Paper doilies. Oh my goodness. There's a napkin. There's another napkin. Oh, those are pretty. Here's another one. Here's a piece of. So then here's a piece of eyelet. And then you have fabric sample pieces that are shears, chiffons, lavenders, lilacs, creams. A few more. Nope, this is one. It's super long. Purple and then a <clears throat> Wow. Nice. And so I think that might, we might be at the end. That, oh that my gosh. Be. Yeah. So, you know, this is what Louise calls a journal kit or what the rest <laughs> of us would call kits for a few journals. <laughs> so if you want to start the auction for her, Maggie, at I will. Order, okay. I'll see if I can get this stuff put back in its packaging. In there. Oh, wait, that fabric has to go in here, too. I knew I forgot something. I'm going to do the peel and stick on this, Louise. that part then let's see if we can get these little guys back in this bag that should be a fun trick because i so didn't pay attention to how they came out you'll get them in there yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
I bet they're not going to be super pretty mm -hmm. like they came out, but they'll be in there. Hey, Gia. Hey, Gia. How are you? Okay, Sharpie marker to the rescue. Rescue, rescue, rescue. 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> You're going to be all done, and I'm still trying to put this thing away. So it's going back in pretty much the same way. Not quite, but almost. You did it. I did it. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. Okay, you ready? Yep. This is going to go to Barbara Hamilton for $65. Awesome. Congratulations, well Barbara. Well done. Barbara Hamilton. For 65, you said, right? Yes, 65. Awesome. Well done. Okay, so I think the other two will be easier. We shall see. We shall see. So these are, Louise, these are pretty much the same, right? So if I show one that pretty much, because they both say T and 75 pieces. So if I show one, they're pretty much the same, right? Barbara wants to know who do I pay. So you send the in, you send the invoice, right? Yep, I'll send you the yeah. invoice, honey. We decided to keep it simple that way. Yes, they're the same. Okay. Yep, I'll be invoicing you. And these are going to be auctions, also, ladies. Just so you know. Louise, do you want to do these? Um, they have their choice of one or both. Okay. So see, she puts these awesome little notes in there for me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's so nice. Okay. So I'm going to turn it upside down here and we'll flip it over and look at them together. So this is like um, scrapbook paper. This is nice. This is really interesting. I love the feel of this. Oh, that's two pieces. What is this one, Louise? And oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. She's getting more boxes ready to send. So nice. more, yeah. Here's ledger paper. She said, let the chat decide. Okay. And there's the, oh this is this is like um, legal size paper and these are her coffee dye. Look at the grid on that. That's for being I think. Isn't that nice? Okay, this is making me crazy for a minute. Hold on. There, that's better. Okay, so then there's this one, which is also her coffee dye. All of these are, well, tea. They're tea dyed. I need to quit saying coffee dyed because she says right on the thing, tea. They're tea dyed. 
that other paper where we said once it's dyed, it feels and sounds like onion skin. Right? It does. So you can see both sides of the tea dye here. Oh, there she's got the clock. I don't know how you get this dark color with tea because I can't do it. I get so irritated when I do tea dyeing. Your tea can be strong. I, You know what? I can never get good color with tea, ever. That's why I use coffee is because I feel like I can get better, darker color. See, like this, I would never get with tea. This is amazing. Canadian, Canadian tea bags. Oh, because it's Canadian. Okay. Yeah. I have relatives that send it every so often. Nice. Well, that could explain it. Look at that. Oh, wow. I like that. That's very cool. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so these pages might be missing from your packet before it gets to you. <laughs> Just saying. There's four. You guys hear that? So there's six of those. That's pretty awesome stuff right there. This is notebook paper. Look at the stuff. Wow. Here's envelopes. Here's craft bags. There's two of those. Here's like a deli um, glassine bag. Notepads. Oh, look at that. This is like out of a... Uh, um, Address book. Oh, this is a score pad. Here's Rolodex cards. So you get five or six Rolodex cards. Little memo pads. Different little memo pad. Tags. index cards then you get tickets oops I'm trying to take them out of the other bag <laughs> <laughs> and then you get all these cute little tags so there's two like that and then I love these tiny jewelry tags. They're so cute. And there's four of those. Or is there five? Nope, there's four. Four of those. So that's that kit. So what did they decide in chat? You guys want to do one a piece or do you want to do... Um, oh, shoot. Shabby Vintage Dreams. Is that Chantel? No, that's Pamela. Dang it. <clears throat> I'm you were close. One of, these days. one of these days. Yeah, Pamela Chantel, super close. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, Veronica. So what did you guys decide? We know we're going to bid on them. Do you guys want to do one a piece, like two people can win, or do you want to do high bid or can have their choice of one or two, one or both? What do you think? Yeah. At least I warned everybody that I'm horrible at names. One per person. <clears throat> oh, thank you, guys. One per person, one per person, one a piece, one per, yeah, it's one, one per person. Okay, one per person. <laughs> I do. I feel bad that when I don't remember names, but I know that it's, it takes me a while to remember names. So I just have to own that. Louise, did you want to, um, what did you want to start it at? 
I think she said it. Oh, that was for the other one. Yeah. Do you want yeah. to start? I just want to make sure. Yep. Good call, Maggie. Thank you. Starting at a dollar. Okay. Okay. And okay. it's going in now then. So the first bidder will get um, get one. The highest bidder will get one for, for, for sure. And then the second runner up will get the other one. Oh, and I put one in backwards. Oh, well. It'd be all right. You know what you're getting. You know what it is. That's an awesome pack. I love her, her kits. Kits, packs, bundles, whatever she wants to call them. I love them. Oh, my coffee's cool enough. I can drink it now, too. They're probably like, yes, please, Patty, stop talking and drink your coffee. You get Miss Con Absolutely, Lorna. We'll let you have Miss Congeniality. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. You absolutely can't. Ooh, that's a horrible glare. You guys should holler at me. Um, Patty, you're blinding me. That's a little better. Yeah, it wasn't so bad in StreamYard. I wasn't looking at um, YouTube. It is very quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's always quiet during the auctions. Well, I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I was thinking. If you guys could uh, smell, you'd have probably smelt the smoke. I was definitely thinking. Most assuredly. And, you know, it's kind of fun to see if you guys call us out on it, too, sometimes. <laughs> okay. So the first pack is going to go to Angie Stone for 28. Awesome. Well done, Angie. And let me just double check. I think Melly. Okay. Melly, would you like the second pack for 28? Yes, Melly would like the second pack for 28. Okay. Michelle Rowe, you were after my stop, and I think you might have a really long lag. Just double check, make sure you're in live chat and the red light is on. Nice. Oh, you know what? For the new ladies, I should have done this earlier, and I meant to, and then we got. I always forget to, to remind yeah, you. Yeah, we got talking about something, and I forgot. Okay, so <clears throat> in your chat, up here, there is top chat. If you tap this, you have top chat and live chat. You want to be in the live chat. If you want to move, if you want to refresh your feed, you can toggle between the two of those and it'll refresh your feed for you. Um, over here, if you were like going to pause the video, see how I just paused it? So now when you hit the play, the arrow, the, the red light is gone from the live right there. So if you just touch down here again, you want to bring that live up. You want to tap that and make sure there's a red dot by the live right there. Okay? And that will help tremendously. If you're still really, really struggling, 
um, go out and come back in sometimes, like go all the way out. Don't just click the refresh, like click the YouTube word, go out into YouTube and then come back in. A lot of times that'll help. So, okay. So these we did when Louise first sent these. So a lot of you will have gotten these by now and you'll know how awesome the paper is. Um, I'm going to show these. I held some back so that we could do them again. These are amazing. And the paper that these are done on is fantastic. This is my favorite kind of like antique newspaper. These are printed in 1863. These are authentic. They're not reprints. They're called the Scottish American Journal. So there's your header on them. And then you get all this amazing text. So they're five columns wide. And then when you open it up, it's enormous. <laughs> Just enormous. So there's two full leaves to each issue. Here you get all the classifieds with the different fonts, different text sizes, things like that. Then here is more um, articles. And then over here you get the illustrated ads along, there we go, along this outside column. So you get some really cool graphics. And then on the back, you get a couple more really nice um, graphics and all these really nice ads, all the different fonts and such. And I'll measure it for you as one sheet and then the width would obviously be double that when you open them up. So they are 14 inches wide by 20 and a half inches tall. So like I said, they're they're really beautiful. This paper is amazing. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, absolutely amazing. You can fold this. You can um, stain this. You can paint this. You can collage with this. You can trim this down and run it through your printer. I think it would be super cool to watercolor in the header. They're just, they're absolutely amazing. So these are going to be um, $7 a piece, Maggie. Okay. And like I said, they're from 1863. So just keep in mind, you know, they're not reprints or anything like that. You know how many you have? Um, I'm going to count them in just one second. Okay. And then I'll put it in. If I can have slightly more skill than the bag or the sleeve. There we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, it looks like. Okay. All right, first thirteen beads. And it's in there. Okay, we'll start with Serenity for two. Okay. JJ. Okay. Claire Hammer. Okay. Mila. Okay. Pamela O. Hey, Pamela. Okay. Lucy D. Okay. Beth K. And that's what I have so far, but there's okay. a lag. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. <clears throat> I would love one of those. I don't think I got one the last time. Okay. I'm Scottish. I, mostly Irish, but a little Scottish. Nice. Okay. Let's see. 
Okay, so there's these available if anybody comes back and wants them later. Eight, nine. So then let's available. do, I think, are these, yeah, these are the same. So we have three or four. Four of these. So these are all going to be the same yet slightly different. <laughs> We call them paper packs? Yes. Okay. Louise, I don't remember a price on these. If you have Maggie and Messenger, can you send it to her or just pop it in the chat, please? I don't remember the price on these. Right, JJ? That's a Irish and a Scottish name. With my grandmother's. Canadian paper packs, okay. And a okay. price. So you get a full leaf out of this. Um, I don't know if this was a tourist book or a scenery book, but it's got some amazing photos. So each one will have a full leaf out of that. Then there are Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine leaves from this book with more amazing photos. Okay, so the other ones I'm not going to open up. I'll just show you the fronts so you get an idea for them. Even though I feel like I want to open each one. These would be really cool to make cabinet cards and such. Look at all these black and whites. You could do like. Nice. Yeah, a super cool. <clears throat> oh, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. A little crazy. dramatic. <laughs> no, I promise you, this was me all day yesterday. I swear it was. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Maybe a little dramatic, but you know. <laughs> There's some more that one and this one this one so there's those then there is a map Canadian map Wait, this page goes, wait, oop, these all go together. This is that really nice paper that we all get really excited about. It's got super soft. It's got just a little bit of sheen to it. More cabinet card material. I was, right there. Yeah, I was gonna say, those would make perfect cabinet cards. Right? Not surprised, Delorna. That is you. He's kind of handsome. He's got those eyes. Look at those eyes. Wow. Okay. Then we have, what book are these? Fall and Winter Catalog. Do you remember which catalog this is? She'll know. Oh, the Eaton, Eaton Company. The T Eaton <laughs> Company from Toronto. No wonder I don't know who they are. Very nice. This is nice paper, too, you guys. It's got a nice tanning around the edges. Ooh, look at her. Pretty. I have to say, I'm so glad I didn't have to wear long johns ever on purpose. Like, snap back, button back. <laughs> no thanks. I wait too long. I would have had a problem every single time. Nope. Okay, now we've got some crossword puzzles and search a word pieces. Those are fun. There's some more. There's another one. Ooh, here's some poems and more poems. 
and we have a Tim Horton um, craft bag, some Canadian playing cards, and a gift card envelope from Tim Hortons. The only thing that would push this thing like so totally <clears throat> entirely over the, oh, the puzzles are French. Yes, ma'am, I forgot, good call, um, is a gift card to Tim Hortons. Just saying. Right. These are gonna be $7. What? Yep, that's what she said. Okay. How many do you, how many do you have? Four. Okay. Yeah, four. So four of you are gonna just like literally steal these. Those are awesome. There. $11. It's in there. Please tell me you can see it. <laughs> I'm so paranoid. <laughs> I don't see it. Ghost to get you Hang don't. Tight, you guys. Hold tight. Hold tight. Yeah. You, I don't know well, what. Nobody. Is. Nobody's typing. That's why. Type. Just type high. Just type high. Let's see if we okay. see Maggie. Don't anybody type me or anything. Just hang tight for a minute. Yep, that came through. Now do it again. Okay. Now put your go in, and it'll probably see it. Tell me when you put it in and I'll let you know. Okay, it's going in now. Okay. Do you see it? Under Paul is oh. can see the oh. height. All oh. right, let me um let me go out. That is so weird. It'll let you type high, but then it doesn't like your other. She's gonna go out and come back in, you guys. Not out of stream yard. I can still see her. She's just going. Okay. Louise, type to the go if you want to call it, and then you can get fixed up before we do the next one. All right. I was putting it in again, but that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. You want me to put it in or just go by? We'll just go with Louise's. They were okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let yep. me just yep. delete this. Okay, so Serenity. Okay. Mila. Mila. Okay. Kathy B. And one more. Luz. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Okay, let's see. What else have we got? We have <clears throat> let's see here. We have these two page packs and then these. I don't think we've done these yet. I don't remember bringing these out before. These two um, and is Lisa Smith here? I haven't seen her. Okay. Oh, Louise, that's fine. Thank you so much for doing that. Oh, it's it's perfect. You're you're yep. you guys are awesome. It's, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> so, when I was sorting when we did these that time, I had this had stuck to somebody else's. So this actually didn't get invoiced or sent to her. So I don't want to redo it until I double check with her and see if she's still interested in it. So. Totally not her fault. All on me. Um, let's do let's do these. These it says there's an, let's see one two three four five. So we have five of these. They're going to be four dollars each, and they're okay. called Treasured Poems of America from 1995. There's 16 pages, and then there's um, nine or ten small images one or two large images between 125 to 150 poems per pack and the paper on this is super super nice and will dye really well um and how much should you say they were going to be four dollars okay so i'll open it up and show you one really quickly 
Everybody, they're um, a full signature is what they are. And it's a nice, it's, it's a pulpy paper, but it's got like a cotton texture to it, if that makes sense. It's just really nice. It's going to take color perfectly. But look at the, you've got so much blank space in here. Then here's one of your large images. Then here's a small one. Then here's a silhouette. And then there's another large one. Wow. And then here's another small one. Okay. So they're all going to be the same yet different. This would be actually perfect to run through the printer and do digitals on top of. Especially if it was like a lot of color, not, you know, I don't think I would, or a silhouette, a black and white silhouette printed on top of this would be pretty awesome too. Oops, hair's trying to go. I don't know if it's mine or Louise's. What did you say? You had five of them? Um, yeah, I think five. Yeah. Okay. Those are sold. Okay. Whenever you're ready, Max. Okay. Dear B. <clears throat> okay. Shauna Henson. Okay. Uh, Paula. Okay. Kathy Behe. Okay. And Pamela O. And Pam O, that's it. Yeah, bye. Perfect. Thank you, ladies. <clears throat> okay, so then we have two of these floral ones. And these are $4 also. Okay. So you get a full signature. Look at those different size florals. Some are actual photographs. Some are um, drawn. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so there's that one. Then there are from like a gardening book, these these things always trip me up. These, um, the three ring binder, you know, gardening, how to, how to grow, how to plant, what to plant together, how to make a water pond. Yeah, because what other kind of pond, what other kind of pond would you have besides water, right? So there's that one. And then there's these really nice cards that are like perfect tag size. Okay, so that's those. And like I said, there's two of those. Two? Yep. Okay, do you see that in there? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Lorna, the fingers are full of glue. Okay, so we'll set those aside. Oh, Kathy B, he would like one. Okay. Well, I think Sorry. I just marked my face. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and Shauna Henson will get the other one. Okay, cool. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Did you draw a mustache? <laughs> no, I, I think I dotted my cheek. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. So, 
Let's see here. I'm going to make you guys work tonight. Dun, da, da, da. How do you feel about some 50 cent auctions, Maggie? How do I feel about them? I think they're fun. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting everybody on the spot tonight. How do you like that? <laughs> um, these, this, this, it's not a these. This book is nine and a half inches wide and 11 inches tall by a half an inch thick so um there's your cover look at your end papers how pretty is that <clears throat> yeah that's very pretty this is a mother's memory book okay this the copyright on this is 1994 So you've got all these really beautiful um, sentiments. Um, I look at this again as like journaling prompts. I think this would be really nice to use in conjunction with like a journal for a bride or a new mom. I love those kind of books. Mm -hmm. Even just the illustrations are beautiful. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Here's some words of wisdom. I love this one. Oh, they're all beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just that one. And there you have the last with your end papers. Okay. So for anybody who doesn't know how the, yes, a beauty mark. <laughs> so for anybody who doesn't know how the 50 cent auctions go, Maggie is going to type in um, the go. And the first bid should be 50 cents. And then try really hard to pay attention to the bid that's coming in just before you push go and you want to be, so if it says 50 cents, then a dollar, then a dollar 50, then two. And we realize with lags, it's going to jump a little bit, but we can kind of tell, you know, who's, who's trying to play <laughs> 50 cents and who's not. So if you guys, you know, just, just play nice and just enjoy the, pro it's just fun. And we do these shorter, usually do these for like what, a minute and a half, Maggie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are much forgot to change the my clock here it's more if these are just kind of more about fun okay and i need to grab can you see it oh okay never mind it's there yep, yep you're good yeah, I don't want to say it's in because then, you know yeah. what I mean? Because it indeed may not be. <laughs> Should I still do the 30 seconds? Okay. If you want to, it's up All right. to you.
And this is since we're doing the 50 cent auctions, when you're doing one, I'm going to kind of preview the next one over here on this side for you. Okay. Pam wants it for $45. Nice. Way to go, Pamela. Well, okay. <laughs> but it's actually going to go to Jamie for $6.50. Awesome. Okay. I need to move this one. I need to. I'm going to, oops. I meant to put a question mark on there. I have to email her and ask her about that. Okay, so this one is called the Graphic Bible. And I'm actually going to cheat and grab a ruler now. This one is 8 by um, 10 and a half. And like 3 quarters of an inch is 3 quarters of an inch thick. Here's your um, end papers. This was um, probably originally the cover sleeve. Um, copyright on this one is 1928. This paper, you guys, is awesome. Oh, and there's little newspaper. Well, not little so much. There's newspaper clippings in here, but look how it offset onto the two pages. That's like one of my favorite things. That and the foxing. But look at all these maps and everything that you could do with these. All these different fonts, the different text blocks, the blank papers. Nice. This is like, yeah, if you're doing a prayer journal or something along that line, this would be amazing. Oh, that's nice, Jamie. Her and her daughter are making a journal together. Oh, that will be sweet. <laughs> So, again, we'll do the 50 cent auction on this one. Okay. So, like, literally, I'm going to mute for one minute. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. I needed to check on the dogs. <laughs> How they doing? They're good. They're good. Okay, that is going to go to Melly K for seven dollars. Awesome, thanks, Melly. Lorna, you were right after her with the seven. Okay, so this one, this is one that I know none of you like. Nobody likes these. Nobody's ever looking for these. I'm being totally facetious. <laughs> this one is eight and a quarter inches wide by ten and a half inches tall and right at an inch thick, including the covers. Um, it's your guys' favorite thing, mm -hmm. the typewriter books. 
or Gosh, typing I remember those. Yeah. The typing books. So super, super cool. And there's extra little bits in here. Like, I love this. Like, pretend to be a whole real secretary. Just saying. Here's a type. Here's somebody's actual typing. So, yeah, there's just, you know. And more and more little bits tucked in. Different from the other ones. Oh my goodness, hold back up nicely for Pete's sake. Never mind, I'll fold you separately then. Okay. All right. That's cool. And here's proper, proper finger placement. Yeah. Copyright is 1957. Whenever you're ready, Megs. Type it in now. <laughs> Listen to Paul. Right. Well, I'm just reading chat. Paul is like, and that's why you get two one to use, one to hoard. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, they just cracked me up. It's a 50 cent auction, JJ. Okay, let me go back up because there were several with the same. Okay, that's going to go to JJ for 13. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. One more auction. There might be a couple more, um, but one more for sure. And then we're going to do some quickies. We'll see how you guys feel about that. So this one is seven and a half by nine and a half and just over an inch thick, including the covers. This is copyright 1981. It's nursery rhymes and tales. So you have these full, here, let me show you close, these full plates that are a nice glossy. And then this is a nice pulpy paper. So you've got a little bit of both worlds here. This is like a great paper pad. <laughs> this is one of those that I really enjoy these. Got a little bit of tanning around the edges, which is really nice. And then every so often you've got the glossy plates. There's a couple of sections where it's almost like a frog he would a wooing go. So this is like 
in little snippets, almost like prose, through this this um, story. I like how that one's laid out. And then back here, you've got the one plate. And then the colors. And then up here, there's a whole section of glossy pages. Nice. Yeah. So this is, like I said, it's, it's just amazing. The artwork that's in it that you can take out and use. It's going to hit just about every single topic. Look at this. Even just that frame is so right. cute. <clears throat> okay. Oh, and this one's really cute, too, right in the front. Ah. And look at this cover. Yeah, I love the cover. And then there's the back. Okay, so there's that one. you see it in there? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I never know now. When I don't see a bid right away. Now she's she's suspect, you guys. Oh my gosh, I have the hiccups. If you hear me, I'm hiccuping. Just so as you know. Excuse me. That is going to go to Pamela O for six dollars and fifty cents. Nice. Thanks, Pamela. Okay, so these next ones are the ones I was thinking we could do quickies. If you guys are opposed to that, um, you'll have to speak up. These, if you would rather do these as auctions, we can. This is eight French stories that is dated 1963, and it's written in French. There's a few um, illustrations in it. Nice, nice, nice little book. This one is um, Primer of the Gothic Language. Copyright is 1862. So you've got, like, the vocabulary. You've got... Um, this is almost like <clears throat> an English book, except it's not English. It's in the Gothic language. Then there's these handwritten little notes in it. This is super, super cool. Claire wants to know what a quickie is. A quickie is I'm going to put them out here, and you'll have a flat price, and we just pop through them really, really quick. Maggie's going to type a go. And it's the first two weeks. Usually I make a pile, an A and a B pile, so she'll look for the first A and the first B. And typically I don't show you what's in them. To do them how we normally truly do them, I just make the stack and all you get to judge by is the cover. Um, these are kind of a little nicer. They're kind of a spe specialties. Um, so they're gonna, and we usually do the prices the prices, the quickies, like five to seven dollar range usually. Um, these are going to be higher if I flat price them because they're really nice. Um, this one is written in um, French. It's French poetry. The copyright on this one is 1955 and the cover is beautiful. It's actually purple. It's not blue. This is purple. This is um, Voltaire. 
the copyright on this one is 1905. The intro is in English. The rest of the book is written in French with French to English dictionary glossary terms in the back. They're all saying quickies. I didn't see any that said auction. Okay. So yeah, we'll do these as quickies, but I do want to flip through and show them to you so you can keep an eye all out for what you want. These are going to be... Um, <sighs> Let's do $10 a piece on them. This one is a first Greek course. Copyright is 1949. So this one is written in Greek, again, with the handwritten notes in it. Okay, so I'll use this to start the B pile. This one is a French um, novel. I think the cover is super cool. That's cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Copyright is 1959. It's written in French. Hi, Amanda. Hey, Amanda. Again, with some handwritten notes in it. Okay, so there's that one. Then we have this one is written in 1860. Um, the Mill on the Floss is the title. It's really nice paper. I mean just thin lightweight you can almost see the text from one side to the other this is just super fun and the cover is really cute so there's that one and then this one is called five plays so here's your here's your sleeve and then there's the actual cover which is like pristine this is from 1966 um the paper in here, you guys, is somewhere between dictionary paper and Bible paper. This is a really nice book for the time. If I didn't know that this was a 1966, I would really think this was a much earlier book. And you get lovely handwriting throughout oh, this. Oh, nice. Book. Yeah. So there's just there's a lot of nice features in this one. But you just, there's just little handwritings all throughout it. So as you pull those out, if you're going to reuse them. Oh, and this is written like a play, too. I don't know if I said that, but this is written like a play. So, yeah, it's just, it's really, really a nice book. And it's super cute. It's like four by six and like a little over an inch thick. Super cute little book. So we'll do these four. Let me do an A and B pile. Let me grab my marker. Okay, so does everybody understand it, or do you need me to, um, hey, Debbie Howard, how are you? Um, hey, Debbie. Go over it again, because I know that was kind of quick, but I can say it again if you need me to. There we go. Push those back. There we go. <laughs> okay, so Ready? Maggie's going to put in the go, and we'll do this four times because there's four in each stack. So she's going to look for the first A and the first B, and those will be the two that get Ds, and then we'll do it again for the next layer, okay? Okay. Okay, Pamela O wants B. <clears throat> Just waiting to see if. Looks like A is still available. Okay. Oh, ha. I should probably write the price on there, not the letter that she got. Um, Amanda wants to know is A purple? Yes, ma'am. Is A purple? It sure was. It's absolutely purple and it's a pretty purple. And the spine on it even says French poetry. It's just really pretty.
Yep, we got you for B, Pam. <laughs> Melly K gets B. Okay. I'm just waiting to see if anybody would like A. And I'll put in A, it's still available in case anybody wants it later. Okay. Trina S. gets A. I always try to put an extra I in her name. I don't know why. Thank you, Trina. I don't know if and I said thank you to the other ladies. Thank you. Okay, we'll keep him aside. He is still available. This was the Gothic one, and this is the Greek one. Melly K gets A. <clears throat> awesome. And Kathy B. He gets B. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Oh, shoot. Well, it'll be in there. It's not as sticky, but it's there. Okay. these over here in the bin. Alrighty, let's see here. So this one, hang tight. Are these going to be a different price, Patty? No, I think I'm going to do these the same price. Okay. These are, I just, do I have an, yep, I have six. So this is primary songs um, for the, well, yeah, primary songs for the primary class in Sunday school. So this is music for Sunday school. Here's your cover, here's your back. This is a speller for grade three. Oh, and by the way, these are all Canadian books, you guys, just so you know. So there's that one. Then we have the pupil's own vocabulary speller. This one's a little rough on the side. It's kind of almost in that, you know, boiled book category. 1951 on this one. I love this one. Absolutely love it. It's got like the perfect amount of wear. The paper is exactly like you would expect when like our books when we were kids in school. Um, Look at, <laughs> look at where there was tape. Wow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> here is the tape. It's, it's perfect. I absolutely love these. Everything has got that broken feel to it. I love working with those. So there's that one. Then here we have victory songs with the handwriting and the inscription in the front. So this one's a hymnal. Again, it's got just a little bit of the book block coming away from the spine. There's the back. There's the spine. There's the cover. This would be an amazing prayer journal cover, I think. This one is a high school reader. This one's in really good shape. Don't remember seeing, oh, there is a little bit of handwriting. Yeah, more than I thought, actually. I was going to say, this is the one I thought I didn't remember seeing any handwriting in, but there is. So that's kind of cool. You get a little bit of handwriting with it. You get poems, just, just a lot of nice stuff in this one. This one's by the Canada, the Canada Publishing Company from Toronto. Um, copyright on this one is 1919. 
So there's that one. And then this one is, I'm just going to read it on the title page, but there's your, there's your cover. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And then there's the back and there's your spine. This one is, um, copyright 1866, um, readings from the best authors. It's a Nova Scotia speller. Wow. And it, oop, what was that? Ooh, dried, dried flowers, dried leaves. I love when you find that in them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Definitely sown seed. Oh, look at that tiny little leaf, like a teeny tiny little fern leaf dried in there. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything in here, you guys. You get I poetry, you get stories, you get everything. Different fonts. Yeah, this is nice. Different different size, different layouts of the text blocks. Yeah, this is nice. Nice variety in this one. Okay, so there's those. And again, we're going to do the first A or B. And let's leave these at 10. Okay. These are really nice. Those are both sold to Serenity. Okay. Thank you, Serenity. Okay, there's those two. Mila wants B. Mila for B. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, we'll set A aside. And then the last two. Oh, Trina S would like A. Okay, thank you, Trina. Pamela O gets A, and Trina gets B. Awesome. Pamela O and Trina. You guys are awesome. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's see here. I think, do you guys want to do a few more books? I can go grab some of Jody's because I think that's going to wrap us up for Louise tonight. Um, you guys want to stay for a little while. I can't stay real long because I'm going to be up like super duper early in the morning. I was going to say you have to get up, right? Yeah, like five, like 4 a.m. <laughs> <clears throat> I got to do the 4 a.m. thing tomorrow. So um, I can stay for a little while if you guys want, but not real long. Or we can wrap it up and call it a night. It's up to you guys. Louise wants to know if you can do her giveaway, Patty. Um, I would love to say yes, but um, they're in there in the other bin. So I will, though. Because <laughs> you still got a few more things to do, girly. I still got a few other things of yours. So I wanted to get to Jean's stuff tonight. Um so if you guys want to stay for a while, we can, or like I said, but if you guys would vote in there, if you want to stay for a while, if you're ready to wrap it up. Stay or wrap. I thought it said warp. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <clears throat> well, the stays have it. The stays have it? Yes, they do. 
Okie dokie. Let me put this other bin in here and I'll grab some books. You could, Tammy, but Patty can't. I can't either. <laughs> can't what? Stay all. Tammy said I could stay all night. You know, sometimes I, I don't disagree. Oh, me too. But not when you have to get up at four in the morning. Yeah, no. Okay. So I'll give you some teasers. Oh my goodness. Look at that one on top. Are these still going to be quickies or? Um, I don't know. I haven't decided. Okay. Because <laughs> they're getting, they're getting ornery when they're sending stuff. They're like, just price it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's hard to price other people's stuff. Because you never know if you let them down. Oh, this one's really cool. I like this one. Okay, so let's see here. Who is it that likes the astronomy, astrology books? Who was that? <clears throat> Somebody was requesting those, and I know collects those. And as soon as I saw this, I thought of you, but I can't remember who it was. Hmm. Who was that? And these things, these books now, you guys, are Jean Moran's. Jean was in the chat. I'm not sure if she's still here or not. Are you still here, Jean? Sonia said Amanda wanted the astronomy. I thought it was Amanda. Thank you. And Amanda was here earlier, but I don't know if she's still here. Okay. Oh my goodness, I keep losing us on the other. Am I buffering for anybody else or is it just me? Mm, you haven't buffered for me yet. Okay. All right, Jean's here. Okay, there you are. Hey, Jean. And Charlin said she'll text Amanda. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, so. And if she's busy, it's no big deal. I can hang on to it till later. So, Jean, since you're here, my dear, I'm going to put you on the spot, too, a little bit. I guess it's the night for that. Um, do you want to auction these, dear, or do you want to flat price them? Hi, Jude. This one's cool. I like this one. I love all <clears throat> illustrations in this one. Hey, Jude. Did you guys see this one? This this is an amazing... If you look at this as like a pad of paper or... Um, it, they're just awesome. Like, Amanda is here. Awesome. Hey, Amanda. So I didn't know if you would be interested in this astronomy astrology book. I knew that you um, were always kind of on the lookout for these. So I just wanted to see. It's a teach yourself book. Yes, please, she said. Yes, please. Okay, so I'll do this one for you for five, okay? Amanda L. 
<clears throat> cool beans. Thank you, dear. And I've got a nice vintage one to show you one of these days, too, but I'm not going to go grab it now. These are Jean's books. Did Jean answer me? Um, she's leaving it up to chat. Perfect. Good girl. Way to pass the buck. <laughs> <laughs> Auction or flat price, everyone. And then here's another. I love, love, love this little book. It's just absolutely cute. And the, um, the plates are really nice. There's not very many of them, but they're super cute. Like, look at this one right inside the front cover. Look how cute that one is. It's called Pretty's Dreams, A Little Sweep's Mission. But I, it's, and it's pink. It's like a purpley pink. <clears throat> and it's boiled. <laughs> flat pricing. Everybody says flat. Oh, thanks a lot, Louise. You're a brat. <laughs> You're a brat. Look at them all. They did, too. They all said flat. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Ah, yikes. Okay. Okay. You guys asked for it. So be it. I guess I'll know if Jean's mad at me if she never sends me anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here goes. And I'm going to price these, you guys, like what I feel I would be willing to pay for them at someone else's sale, kind of, sort of. Does that make sense? So let's start with this one. I really, really like this book. Okay, I'm in love with the cover. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, the cover is just amazing. So this is seven inches wide by ten and a quarter inches tall and two and a quarter inches thick. Okay. So here's the cover up close. Look at that thing. Wow. And it's a really pretty, like greenish gray color. Like on StreamYard mags, I think it's just about the accurate color. Um, down on the table against the blue, it's pretty accurate on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So there's there's your spine. And then here's the back, which is still embossed. Nice. Yeah. Mm. And it's got like that pebbled leather feel to it. So it's super, super tactile. Then here's your end papers, which again, yes, please. That makes me think of old wallpaper. Here's the back. And then you've got the marbling on all the page edges. Right, Jennifer? I wow. think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so this is called The Growing World or Progress of Civilization and the Wonders of Nature, Science, Literature, and Art. Copyright is 1884. So it's only been around, you know, a minute or two. <laughs> Your chunky finger. So if you like that paper where you can still feel the text you can feel the indent of the whole printing. This is that paper. Okay, so I'm too far away. I'm kind of stuck in a catch-22 here. I feel like I want to zoom in, but if I do, then you may not be able to see. You know what? I'm going to. If we're going to do these one at a time and flat priced, I'm zooming in. Oh, wait. Maybe I should click the right thing, huh? <coughs> Okay, that's better. Okay, so there's just really nice illustrations sprinkled throughout. And look at this one with the ducks. Oh. Uh, I think that's a goat. I don't know. 
It doesn't, it, it's got little horns. So I don't think it's a fox that came to eat, eat the ducks, but I might be wrong. You've got this one, this one, then you've got the full page ones. Yeah, this one. Those are cool. They are. And like here, you've got the poem that goes with it. So this, I mean, you could just take that and use this. It's the, the possibilities. I love when these are like this. There's just so much you can do with them. Look at this illustration. Or plate. But they're just everywhere. And they're just all really, really different. And all of these are out of copyright. So you're going to be able to do whatever you want with them. You can scan these, enlarge these. You can print these 82 times. Look at this print. <clears throat> so, and that was like the back quarter of the book. Like we have seen hardly any of the book. There's just tons and tons and tons in here. Look at that one. Yes, Pam, she ships media mail. Look at that one. Oh, I love that. How pretty is that? Is it real heavy, the book? Um, who wants to know? Is the, in the, I, I was just asking. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I don't know that I would want to ship this one internationally necessarily, for especially for just one book. Oh, that's who I needed to talk to. Is Janine still here? No, not Janine. Glynis. It was Glynis I needed to ask. I'll just email her if she's not here. See different things bring different different to do's to mind. I knew I was forgetting something. Look at the rhino and the baby rhino. Or wait, oh. ah, they're hippos. There's no horns, Patty. They're hippos. <laughs> Very animals organized. There's the farmer. Oops, we're learning to be a cowboy. Ooh, that's pretty horses. Always get smoking his bees. <clears throat> this sounds so weird. He's smoking his bees. Um, I think we're learning um, about diving here. That early diving apparatus, that stuff was scary. I don't know how they ever got back out of the water. Did you see how heavy that stuff is? It's crazy. There's the birds. But do you see what I mean about just tons and tons of stuff to work with? To copy, right. to use, it's just crazy. With that one. There's that one. There's this one. That one. Here's another one under the sea. Well, that one's under the ocean, actually. More pretty small ones. Like that. Yeah, it's pretty. Who in a train? See what I mean? There's just there's every topic covered in these. I think these are so cool. Oh, look at that.
Wowza. So 1884. Um, we're going to flat price this one because that's what they asked for. I'm going to flat price this one at um, oh, Lordy. Let's do 45 on it. Okay. That's sold to Serenity. Awesome. Thank you, Serenity. Okay. So then this one is called Literary Treasures of 1929. Um, this cover, you guys. Yes, please. Wow. Then there's the spine. Wait, there it is. The, um, it's not nearly as um, reflective metallically as it is on the front, but the back is really nice. Okay, this is, this is sun faded from sitting on the shelf. Um, width is six and three quarters by nine and three quarters and right at one and a half inches thick including both covers here's your end papers look at these headers and of course copyright is 1929 this is printed by the international magazine company so this may still be out of copyright, even though it's 1929, you would just have to um, put a little legwork into checking. Do you see the tanning on all of this and all this white? These are so awesome. And this paper is almost cardstock weight, but at the beginning of every new, um, story you've got this really beautiful header the really nice caps this one's called baby shoes i end up flipping through this one every single time i flip through this book and then here's the header and the caps so not really illustrated but really nicely done and if you just want some really nice book paper um since it's sewn signatures, they're all going to come out super easy. You can stamp on this. You can print on this. You can throw coffee on this. You can throw tea on this. You're just going to have really a lot of fun with it. Or if you just want a really nice book to read. Old folks Christmas. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting ready for one of those. <laughs> so this one will do for 12. Okay. sold to Lorna. Okay. Okay. Right, so Lorna. Thank you, Lorna. So this one um, is called Dr. Livingston's Life and Explorations in Africa. Um, this is five and we'll say five and a quarter inches wide by eight inches tall by one and three quarter inches thick. Here's the cover. Wow. There's, yeah, there's the spine. And here's the back. The back is awesome too. Okay, so this one may be a little controversial. Um, it's got 35 prints in it. 
Um, but it's, you know, it's accurate for the time. So there's, there's a lot of history involved in this. This is, um, like I said, the story of the, it says the brave Scotchman life and explorations of David Livingstone, the great missionary explorer interior of Africa, all his extensive travels and discoveries as detailed in his diary reports and letters and including his famous last journals. So there's that. So here's a few of the prints. Here's one. Look this way. Because you can't really tell what they are upside down, can you? Here's one here. <clears throat> I know there's a couple of the ladies that um, are interested in some of the history in these specifically. And if you want to reach out to me privately about it, that's cool too. So there's that one. The illustrations in this and the plates are really, really well done. Then here's um, some prints of his handwriting. Here's another plate. And then here's here's another one. But the detail in these is just crazy. Look at the clouds. Look at the leaves. Wow. This is yeah, and this is a five by eight book, and this plate is even smaller. These are just really, really well done. Oh, that last one you got? Sure, Lorna. So like here's plates of Like, what would they call that? The desert or the tundra? I'm not sure. Is this one? Um, that one might be a little more explicit than we need. Here's a map. So if you guys can type in the chat for me and let me know if you're, oh, look at it. They're teaming monkeys. Nice. Um, okay, if you guys can let me know. Or apes, I'm not sure. Okay, perfect. So in the chat, if you guys can let me know if anybody's interested in this. If not, I know I have people interested in it. Here's, oh, nice. Look at this handwritten that's in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, super nice. So, Lorna, which one are you in? Not this one. I'm, I'm not betting this one. This one I won't bet. I, I won't bet this one. If you want me to gut that literary one that you got, yes, I can gut that for you. Absolutely. <laughs> Amanda. Okay. So there's a couple of you that I know are interested in this, okay, as the whole book. So this one I'm going to price at 25. Okay. First me. Yep, the first me. <clears throat> That's sold to Dear B. Awesome. Thank you, Derby. Okay, Michelle, I will um, I will keep that top. I will keep the topic in mind, and I will keep you in mind for them. Okay. Okay. So these, I feel like we can do as quickies. So this is like a mono. Nope, not mono prints. 
Yeah, I guess it is kind of monoprints. We'll call this, you know, it's a Robin Hood book um, illustrated. I love the cover. Look at this cover. It's like treats. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So there's front and back on that one. We're going to do these like kind of like quickies. Um, let me see what's here. So I want to try to set them up in size, sort of. So here's one of those um, international, what are these called? The International Collections um, of Literature. These are always just really nice paper to work with. And the, co the covers are pretty awesome. Oddly enough, you guys, at used bookstores, these sell for crazy money, like 20 to $25, which I totally don't understand, but whatever. Um, so we're going to put these down here. Um, this is called The Anatomy of Paradise. This has a nice deckled edge. It's got some, um, they're not plates, they're like just full page photos. The illustrations that are in here are actual photos and there's not lots and lots, but it does have like, um, shorter offset pages and stuff. It's just, just nice paper and a nice cover to work with. That one is bigger. We'll put it there. We'll put Robin Hood there. Um, the boy's own book of great inventions. This book cover, again, I'm, you know, the, the illustrations and stuff in here, they're nice. It's slick paper. If you just need some good, you know, collage paper, painty papers, those kinds of things. This would be really, really nice for that. I like the cover. With the title, can you imagine making like a whole Tim Holtz situation in here with all of his boy inspired stuff? I think that could turn out super, super cool. Then we have three of these really, again, you guys are gonna be in them for the covers and the tanned paper not illustrated, just, just nice. And the covers are cool. Okay. So there's three of those. Let me see if I can find one more to even out our piles. Are those red? They are very red. Oh yes. Jennifer, they're red. Don't lose your minds. They're red. It was Amanda asking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, red. Definitely red. Um, And these okay. are all going to be the same price? Yep. And then I found the last one. So this is another one. It's called um, A Helping Hand, The Divine Plan of the Ages. Again, it's um, for Bible students. It's, I just love the cover. Absolutely love the cover. And then if you can see, it's embossed. Oh, yeah. Right, right there, too. So, and it's it's nice paper. Besides the cover, the coolest thing about this book is this flippy out map in the front. Did you like that description? The flippy out map. Okay, so there's that one. Um, Copyright on this one, it's 1905. Amanda wants to know who's the author of that one. Of this one, The Plan of the Ages? I think this, yeah, she just typed it in, so I'm assuming that's the one she means. Um. Copyright is 1886. Um, I don't know. How's that for a good answer? <laughs> I love flippy out maps. Yes, Bible study one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Like for real, why is this so hard to figure out? might not have like an author it kind of doesn't person. have like yeah exactly it really doesn't have like it's put out by the watchtower bible and track society oh so i bet it doesn't have a one particular yeah author. There, yeah it's i feel like it's kind of a compilation yeah. not <laughs> one
she said thanks never mind you're thanks. welcome so anywho we are going to do these for let's do let's just stay with what we normally do let's i usually do between five and seven so let's do them for six okay because i'm waffling and i can't decide <laughs> hey nancy oh i forgot to make my put my a's and b's out darn it that's all right i'm just going to be putting it in okay Oh my gosh, I am so off center and almost out of frame. Mm. Get it together, Patty. Get it together. Deb W would like B. Hey, Deb W. I don't blame you. It's super cute. And A still available. Okay. Okay, and those are in. Oh, nice, Cheryl. Thank you. Michelle Rowe would like A. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Excuse me. Looks like B is still available. Um, this pile. Okay. And there's the B. Oh, Michelle will take B also. Okay. Thank you. Hold on, I just lost my screen. Uh-oh. Okay. And the matching one, too. So you want all three of them, honey? Is that what you're saying? Okay, Michelle, I've got you for all three of the buddy books. If that's wrong, just let me know, okay? Okay, so she gets B? No, no, the, the oh. ones before, not these two. Oh, okay, those are sold. Okay. Uh, Paula gets A. Paula gets A. And Becky gets B. Awesome, thanks, ladies. Michelle said yes, all three. Okay, cool beans. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Becky. And there we go. This would be a fun one to put a picture in and use this as your frame. Super nice. So Lorna Taylor, I'm not still not sure if you want me to gut that gold metallic -y cover that you got. So if you want that one gutted, holler at me. Otherwise I'll get catch up with you tomorrow in Messenger or something. Okay, those are sold. Okay. Um, before I say that, Paula wants you to pass that one that she got to Jennifer Jane. Okay. So Robin Hood is really for Jennifer? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Paula. Jennifer Jane. Perfect. Okay. And these last two. Becky gets A. And Mila, you have me. Do you want B? And Lorna says, yes, gut, please. Okay, I need to write that in there so I don't forget. Okay, she's going to pass on B. So B is still available. Okay. So Becky for this one, and we're passing on this one. Okay, so 
here's the deal you guys and i know you said flat price but let me show you what these are and then let me tell you what my thoughts are so um, before you do that can becky said she'll take um b sure thank you becky oh wait yeah here's the sticky note Okay, so these, I love these together. Like every once in a while, I just fall in love with a group of books together. Tell me these aren't just super cute. Yeah, As I like such. that stack. Right? Can you just picture these dismantled? And you know how we were talking about deconstructed journals? Wouldn't this be the cutest, like, signature, 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 signature concept? I think it would be absolutely adorable. So here's, look at the embossing on this one. <clears throat> wow. And then here, these are like so perfectly aged and distressed. This is um, the extraction of the square root. That's that chapter. There is entirely too much alphabet involved in this to be like math in my world. Do you see all the letters versus all the numbers? Mm, no. So this is obviously a math book, obviously. Let's get back up here to the front where I can find the information. Raise Mathematics. That's what this is. Um, copyright is 1866. This is the largest book. It measures four, uh, four and three quarters by seven and a half. And right at three quarters of an inch, including both covers. But this leather spine with that embossing and it's just it's so mm -hmm. pretty okay so there's that one then this one is classics for children tales from shakespeare so here's like yum wow i perfect. love that book right it's perfect if you took this to state, my scanner would never scan this. If I dismantled this, I would be able to scan this. I promise you, I would make 10 covers out of this scanned. It's just perfect. Then there's this writing and somebody cut out the rest of it. I mean, it's so, so well loved, well used. And it's Shakespeare's stories written for children not illustrated so it's not for young young children but it's just it's amazing sewn signatures it's really nice paper um 1890 is the copyright on that one okay so there's that one then this is the third one look at this wow that's cool too and there's your leather spine mm. and then there's your bag i love when they're like that right so this is Emerson Watts, Improvement of the Mind, Questions and Notes. <laughs> so four inches wide by six and a half, right at three quarters of an inch thick. This has the prettiest pink. Is it coming across pink? It's like mm -hmm. a pinkish coral that it's worn down to right around the edges just pretty again handwriting in the front somebody made a spitball because the corner's missing copyright on this one is 1858 oh corrections questions and supplements so evidently i don't know the notes was only on the cover to intrigue someone i don't know but this paper is it's awesome it's not quite make me a dress out of this, please, but it's dangerously close. Oh, and there's there's like weird little odd sample-y things in here. A little bit of handwriting throughout. Yes, my friendly fly is back. 
I cannot get rid of this little thing. Look at the text block. It's two columns. Then it's the full column. It's just really, really nice. The signature is all the way out. It is torn right there. And because they didn't have paper clips then, they pinned everything. I love when they use straight pins. Like, it makes me really happy. <laughs> I find it mostly in ledgers and such, but it's really, really cool, I think. Okay, so there's that one. Then the last one is this one. This, I don't know what color this started out at. I kind of don't care because it's just really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that. It's almost a hot pink. Not quite. It's the most interesting. It's like faded hot pink, if that makes any sense. And it's got the perfect fading and aging. And oh my gosh, somebody dropped me in a boiling pot of water while they were reading it, you know. And then it's embossed on the back, too. And this one measures three and three quarters by six and a quarter and just over a half an inch thick. <clears throat> um, the inscription on this one is 1869. Here's your first illustration. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Copyright is 1869, and it's called Teddy's Dreams, A Little Sweep's Mission. And there's a few more plates in here, not very many, but a couple. Poor Teddy, he's very overworked and exhausted. I think, and then here's this signature, is about ready to come out. You can see it does have, I mean, this one, I could take this apart with zero guilt and totally use these pages and repurpose this cover. Like, wouldn't even skip a beat. Okay. And again, nice quality paper to, to work with, to play with, to repurpose. Really, really nice. So here was my thought. What do you guys think of auctioning these four together? Um, since they're not mine, I'm not sure I want to start them at a dollar, but I would start them, um, I would have a higher starting price, but how would you guys feel about all four of these together? Or do you want to do them by choice? And high bidder could have one, two, three, or four. So basically as a whole set or individually, but I think they're adorable together. Earlier, Pamela suggested that. Melly Kay says auction as a set, auction together, Amanda says. Okay. Together, Lorna. Yep, set, together, set. Okay. Yep. So, okay. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start them at a dollar. You guys are always good. I'm not going to stress out over it. I'm going to start them at a dollar. It'll be fine. So you want to go to three minutes, four minutes? Um, just set it for three. And if they, and if we don't need it, because they, they know we're going to do them right. for the three minutes. If they're out, then just type you're out. And if we get down to one person, then we can just close out early. That works. That way the girls who have a lag have a chance and all that stuff. Right? See, Lorna, I, I love the idea. I think it's super cute. I'm sure somebody has done it. I just, I mean, I just think it would be really cute done up as a little set. <clears throat> and they're like so perfectly aged. It's like empty and refill kind of situation, you know? Oh, those covers are amazing. Aren't they? I just, I love them. And what's funny to me is they didn't even come in the same box. They came in two different boxes. I just stacked them by size. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I love these together. <laughs> Happy accident, you guys. Happy accident. Hi, Esme. Hey, Esme.
<laughs> you guys came. <laughs> my gosh, I have one hair that didn't make it into my bun and the fan keeps brushing it across oh. the back of my shoulders. I'm just like, <laughs> I've been chasing that thing all night. <laughs> so, and don't anybody leave because we still have a giveaway. Even those, even though this is our last um, our last item, I still have a giveaway. We're going to do a shop giveaway. Becky, did I make you blue? Can you put your link in? You, you did. She was blue. Okay. I know I need somebody else blue too and forgot to, but it's okay. I'll, I'll fix it before, before, before Monday. Great. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this expected, expected grandma thing, it's getting to me. The closer we get, woo. I wasn't on the YouTube yet, I don't think. I don't think I was. No. I didn't start YouTube till after my other two grandchildren. So I've never done, you know, this whole <laughs> try to be live, try to, you know, work and do all of this and wait for a, a new baby. <laughs> Becky's in there. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Becky. Perfect. Okay, let's see now. Where's my stop? Okay, there it is. It is, Esme. It is. Okay, those are going to Melly K for $66. Awesome. Melly K for 66. You guys are awesome. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much. Yep, congrats. Super, super cool. Jean is going to love that. Yippee. <laughs> nice. So, um let me, well, I want to put that back inside because I just, I want to use these as our going out shot. I'm going to grab a couple of Jean's books because they're pretty. So we're going to do a giveaway. Yes, a giveaway. Okay, so you guys, this might sound a little snarky and you guys know I don't do snark. I don't do drama. I don't play games. I am going to say this because every once in a while, even I have something to say. So, um, I would like to challenge one or several of you who, you know, are actually watching and participating, not just lurking for, you know, fun ideas and new things to do. I would like to challenge you to find a grouping of books, <laughs> deconstruct them, and do a journal grouping. Okay? Let's see who that's here on a regular basis or new to the group this evening can create something different and fun. Okay? I know you were, <laughs> but you know, I just, I want to see, I just want to see. And what do you want them to do? Just post pictures of them in the Facebook group. That's it. Okay. Or just post pic absolutely lose. Absolutely. You're here. You participate. You don't, I don't mean just shoppers. I just mean ladies who come and hang out in the chat you're, you're all supportive in your own way. Let's, I mean, it is what it is. I couldn't be here without you guys. I wouldn't have fun without you guys. I wouldn't be out, able to be out there doing what I like to do. Exactly. It, perfect, Jude. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> I do. I want you guys to 
just gather up some books that you like, you know, and it doesn't even have to be four, two or three books, deconstruct them and put together, put together like a journal series or like, um, like deconstructed journals, you know, just, just talk about things in them, not even necessarily bind and sew everything in whatever works for you. Just think deconstructed, <clears throat> repurposed journals. However, it happens to to work for you. Does that make sense? I don't want to. I don't want to put any expectations or limitations or anything. I want you guys to just, you know, use your own creativity and just see where it takes you. Have fun. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Have fun with it. No, you don't have to do a video. If you're in the group, if you're in my Facebook group, the link is over in the chat. Just um, join the group. Yeah. And just post pictures in there if you want to. If you want to do a video, do a video. I just think it would be really fun. Yeah, either way. Because I know I'm going to do I'm going to do it. And I, and I'm not even, and I kind of have an idea in my head. I'm not even going to do each one in the same format. Each one is going to be entirely different. Yeah, exactly. Amanda. I just, I just want it to be fun. Cool beans and no time limit. You know, if you get them done next week, awesome. If it takes you two months, awesome. <laughs> Nope, it's not, Tammy. There's no reward other than the fact that you started something and finished it. Yep, just creativity. I just think it would be fun. <laughs> so, anywho, back to the giveaway. The giveaway is going to be for a $20 gift certificate yeah three months is cool it doesn't matter um we're going to do a 20 dollars gift certificate for becky swartzlander's channel she posted her link to her shop if you can post it one more time becky um and then the winner will just need to either get a hold of me an email or messenger and i will get the code to you oh my gosh i'm hungry all the time too <laughs> Um, we're just going to pick a number, um, and this is going to be one through, how many of you is there? Just under 50. Let's do one through 65. That's a nice random number. Oh, I need to pick a number and write it down, don't I? You do. Okay. So it'll be one number. Um, for, yep. Go for it, Max. The highest number not going out that doesn't go over if you, if no one gets it head on okay so i wrote it down on the other side of that paper oh i better type it to you too huh <laughs> i was just gonna ask you to <laughs> sorry i'm new <laughs> oh my gosh no cheryl they don't have to have purchased tonight right no no okay i see it all right wait for my go Nope, you absolutely don't. It's for anybody who was here participating. It's kind of going to be my new thing. If you're here and you're participating in chat and joining in, that's cool. Then it's open to you. We do have a winner. Nice. Well, hello, Tina. How are you? And welcome to our goofiness. We'll let everybody get it in just in case there's two of them, because if two people would happen to get it, we'll do that too. All right, I'll put the stop in in a couple of seconds. Yep. 
Because if they've got a lag and your stop is there, we'll still know because they'll pop. Right. Okay, I think they're done. So that's the stop. Sure, sure, Lorna. Sure. We're just goofy. It's okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put in. All right, we ready? It's in my, it's in our chat. Yep. No, I mean who I see as the winner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, whoops, it's flashing it out. There's the number. 33. And I see that Cheryl Goble has that number. Nice. So it's going to be Cheryl Goebel. So Becky, just so you know, it's going to be Cheryl that's going to be using the code, okay? Perfect. Congrats, Cheryl. Yep, congratulations. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, yeah, you guys have a... A really good holiday or holiday. A holiday weekend is over, Patty. Ay, ay, ay. Have a really good weekend. Can you guys imagine if I was drinking as much trouble as I'm having speaking to you? <laughs> Can you even imagine? Yikes. That would be And scary. thank you, everyone, too, from from me. Oh, you brought great stuff, Maggie. Great stuff. Uh, and the girls are sending amazing things for me to offer you guys. It's fun. Fun, fun. So I've been playing around with a new thing, so I might be back on this weekend sometime. We'll see. I'm not going to say that I am because every guys I tell every time I tell you guys that I'm coming back on, something happens and I don't make it. So I know I can't do it ahead of time either because you just yeah. never know. It just seems like it's you're jinxing yourself. So right. Hey, okay, Roxanne, we're here twice a week, and you know what? It it it'll work out one of these days. So, and once things settle down around here, I'll be on a little later and stuff like that too. So it'll make a difference because we know some of you guys have different time zones and all that stuff. So yeah, no worries. So anywho, everybody have a safe and um, happy weekend and we will see you back here Monday night, if not sooner. Good night, everyone. Thanks, Maggie. Thanks, Louise. Oh, you're Thanks, welcome. Paula. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Good night, you guys.